All righty, Rue. Hello, everybody. Here we go. Hi, Peggy. Okay, what so game, first off, what game Carl. number? What game number is this, Susan? I don't know. I have to look. Season two. It's number Season four eleven. Two episode eleven. Okay, Kyle is in the room. Eleven. <laughs> Rob is in the room two. Gail is going to move to is going to room three. Bob. Do you have two accounts today, Bob? One. Yeah, I I need it. Okay, so let me put you. I got to make sure both are in the same room. And Rob, here comes Mono. Robin's going to go into room five. <coughs> Adrian joining us today? I can't remember. Is she? I don't if know. So I'll not ask. yet. That's true. Ooh, I wonder if she's missing. Oh, Susan. Four one one. Has been to a national park lately? Susan, yes. Isn't yes. all of Canada a national park? It's like just pretty much trees. Pretty much, yeah. No. Yes, Did you? Did. I I sent you an invitation to a virtual meeting room. Did you get that on your email? Email? Yeah. Yesterday, I said I'm st I'm setting up a virtual meeting room for other, you know, for skeptics' own reasons and stuff like no, that. No, I don't I'm see. Just anything. testing it out. Oh, that's odd. Okay, I must. I might have done something wrong. Oh, no. Just just wondering. That's all right. No, not that I know. Okay. okay, so I've got. I think I've got a little lean on one of these rooms. <coughs> um, Aaron. Um, Susan, as you're making the rooms, I'm probably not staying for too long because the school year is starting again. Oh. That shouldn't be allowed. That shouldn't be allowed. <laughs> Here comes Jeffra. Like three more weeks of summer. Well, the, the people who are joining right now that will be able to come in. Okay, so I'm going to make, I'm just going to go ahead and create the rooms and just add these over mm -hmm. at random. Two rooms, and that will fix that. All right, so you guys go make fun names. Wear your masks. Wash your hands. And come right back. Don't be gone long. You get really lonely over here. Us. Susan and I got talking, so we got we got <laughs> recording. We were we were talking because we weren't recording too. So and Jim Preston will be fine. I'll put him on that team, Gail. Thank you. Okay. And thank you, Hi, Richard, Gail. for reminding me. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. So you were doing work for me. I did. I was. So it's all your fault. <laughs> yeah, I like your little wall there. That's great. I, I, I kind of hear Susan yeah. doing something to me. Oh no, that Gail was just saying that she's that their team is going to be short a couple people really soon because a couple people are leaving. She says the next person who joins, we should probably put them on the team she's on. I said, oh, and that and that's right when you entered. I said, well, there you okay. go, Gail. Just as you said, here's Jim Preston. He's on your team now. So, um, hi, Peggy. Well, we were waiting for Jim to arrive because we couldn't continue until he did. <laughs> well, that's hi, hi Deborah. And Paula, who's supposedly there. I don't know. I'm here, but you're recording. Ah, yeah, whatever. Hi, Paula. What Deep do you fake. think you're afraid of, Paula? Deep fake. You can't say yeah. because you're recording. <laughs> She's afraid the mob will find her. <laughs> the mob is going to come get her. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so here we go. I am on. Let me get to the right screen. We are on, hello everyone. This is the game for August 26, 2021. Uh, there you go. Uh -huh. We're on game number 68, which would be 68 for everybody who's out there in wonderful land. So we have- Wonderful land? <laughs> who's watching us now? We have 10 views from last week. So we're in the big, oh. big numbers here comes Karen. Oh. So <laughs> 10 people watched it. We, word, word of mouth, it's growing. Yeah, we're really, we're moving along. I'm telling you, any day now we're going to be on Netflix. Okay, so we're starting off with Carl. Carl with a K. And I might have something for you, for you in 2022. I'm trying to talk. Uh, anyway, I'm getting off subject. Rob will be next. And everybody, he always puts a hint in the background. So he has a book. It looks like an encyclopedia, maybe. 
Bible. Uh, a Bible? Oh, so, no. oh, oh that oh, looks oh. like the yeah. looks like Wilma's the, like all excited. Jewish oh. religious text. Maybe it's Mormon. Oh, what is he's got a faith hat on? Oh. Uh oh. So everybody, when you're not listening to Carl, immediately become an expert on whatever you think is on the back of, of Rob. Uh, Gail's next. Yeah, that, that's that. no problem at all. Just immediately become an expert on this. Uh, no problem. Gail? Well, that's what everyone does. They just go to Wikipedia yeah. for 30 seconds and they're done. <laughs> oh, we got it. And then we have Bob. And Robin is going to do bonus. I don't know where she is, but I guess she's on her way, I hope. Hi, Karen. Karen's on, Karen, you got your end of the street. You watching for making sure nothing happens. <laughs> Well, we got our, yeah, okay. So I'm watching this way. You watch that way. We're, we got I'm, the else, I'm elsewhere this evening. You're not there? Wow. That's a mystery. We should, we should be watching the background to see if we can figure out where she's at. Well, okay. I, can, I, I, I wore this hat. I wore this hat for Faith and she's not even on tonight. Well, she'll be, <laughs> oh, where is Jeff? Where is she? Faith and, um. And I was going to wear my Romero hat. <laughs> <laughs> is julie joining us jeff yeah she'll be here later She's okay just good. Dinner. okay so yeah. i have another request that i'm going to make right now before i forget next week jamie and jim are going to do their first categories ever so Ooh. what i suggest is that if there is someone playing right now who knows for a fact they will not be playing on september 2nd could you please um volunteer to look at the categories that Jim and Jamie have, you know, separate from them, and just run your eyeball over them, not only to check to make sure that they're, that the questions flow well, I'm not so worried about that as much as that I want to make sure that we haven't necessarily done the category before and, and that kind of thing. So if you don't think you're going to play on September 2nd, please get in touch with Jamie. Okay, I volunteer because I will be at the Hollywood Bowl for my last okay. thing of the season. Okay, so Jamie and and Jim, can you get a hold of Paula? Just message her or whatever, and so that you guys can just look at each other, so she can just look at your stuff and make sure we've had this. Okay, good. We've done this before; it works well. Hmm? Oh, good. Thanks. Okay, uh, Paula, could you maybe put your email in the chat? Maybe. <laughs> so you you could put it in the or, chat or, privately or, to Paula, Jim. Paula, you can just directly send it to directly send it to them through the chat. Right? Yeah, that's also possible. Okay, and then, so here we go. We are at game number 68, and let's look at our team names. She put it to everybody. Okay. I don't everybody care, knows. you can see my email. Uh, uh, I just did. Fine, everybody can Welcome see. to the Data Skeptic mailing list. <laughs> oh, I didn't. Mattered <laughs> 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 yeah. everything you could think of. <laughs> you know, I don't with people I like. Of, of all the day, of all the mailing lists to get accidentally spammed onto, <laughs> that's not so bad. Let's put her on the Scientology one. Oh, oh. you're mean, Susan. Yeah, that's so you can't mean. Get off I, use that one. I use a I use a different email for the address for the Scientology. Spam. She's got a Scientology one. Oh, well, oh, I didn't. Okay, I, I can <laughs> get the email later on. We'll we'll get it. Okay, just don't forget. Okay, here. All right, so game, we're ready yet? We have Carl, Alan, Kevin, Kyle, and Saunders. Your name is? Missing Answers 911 Washington Chapter. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's, that's, that's good. It's a little long, but that's, that's good. <clears throat> oh, the stress of putting these things on. You guys have no idea how, how these things keep, you're, you're doing it and things miss. They flop around all over the place. Okay. Oh, uh, since Kelly's going to be leaving early, uh, just throwing it out there. Anybody want? Give me two people who want permission. Adrian usually takes it. I don't know if she I can do it. Huh? I can do it. Okay. Jeff, Adrian's here. Uh huh. I'm going to make her back. But, yeah, but yeah, Jeff's. Yo, know, he can. Do Jeff it. and Julie. I mean, Jeff and Julie. Jeff and Adrian. Oops, I put it rename. <laughs> Carl, you spelled Washington wrong. <laughs> I considered spelling it Washington. That's how you spell it. <laughs> it's spelled correctly. We just all pronounce it wrong. Right? Okay, so Jeff and Adrian have the powers to. Where, 
It's because the, the R is, is, is disappearing because it belongs in, in, in Washington state because it doesn't make it there because Boston has, has used it. The, the R is whatever the opposite of a silent letter is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's the letters Boston, pronounced that isn't there. They have okay. to go somewhere when Boston doesn't use them. The R is printed. Oh, the R is printed silent. No. Carl, the R is missing. <laughs> so group, group number two: Aaron, Jane, Mike, Rob, and Adrian. In the chat. It's in the chat. That's what it's called. Oh, very good. It will remain. Oh, there you go. Okay, got it. I want to hear you pronounce it. That's nice. <laughs> yep. So Spike Vax K. Very good. People who don't know, when the FDA approved the Pfizer vaccine, it had to have an actually, uh, you know, a publishable name. And they paid a, uh, a firm that does that sort of thing. Big bucks to come up with a name that everyone is now making fun of. They, they paid them way too much. And, and hey. Spike Vax is a better name. That's the Moderna version. Yeah. That's what I, I love the fact that there are naming companies. That's basically what they do is they name things for money. I heard today that ISIS. Hey, Ben, mute yourself because we. Can't. I heard today that I think it was an ISIS was saying that they've got, uh, they, they're not ISIS K. Yeah, that's why we got the K on there. Oh, well, that <laughs> makes sense. Okay. Room number three Avi, Deborah, Gail. Kelly and Peggy in the chat. <laughs> Spicy. That's funny. Deborah, oh, okay. Deborah, oddly, one of my questions. Uh, this will be the topic of one of my questions today. Oh, okay. Yeah, so they, they did a little of that, didn't so they? Who came right? up with this name? Missing members, not penises. It was a team active. Yes. <laughs> All the members participated. <laughs> there was a little push. There was a little push and pull during the. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I feel like yeah. that more represents my aesthetic than the team name that I'm. Yeah, on. that's more like Hollywood <laughs> Jack. Well, you can come over and be on our team if you. No, want. no. So, Louis. Room four. Lou's, Lou's here. Hey, Lou. Lou's hey, Lou. Lou. Hey, wow. Lou. Susan, so, can you put me uh, put me in a team that if I have to drop out won't be affected too badly? Sure. So we have Bob, Jamie, team. Janine, and Mono and Paula. Who are you? <laughs> How do you spell that? We are the FDA approved team. Oh, that's good. By the way, did we actually say the name of my team out loud? Because otherwise, if we didn't, it's going to be confusing for the recording. Good point. We'll be watching it later. That's a very good point. Yeah, Susan, you need to read out our Team 3 name. Right. <laughs> so, um, she, she didn't read the first uh, I mean, the Team 2 name. Just being an I did, too. I did, too. I did say it. didn't read the whole thing. Members didn't read all all. Holy mackerel. But she will when she, when she finishes up here. I said it. Okay, FDA approved team. Room number five is Ben, Jeff, and eventually Julie, and Ben and his family, Leonard and Wilma. Uh, ours is a classic. Uh, it's turtles all the way down. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> That's good. Okay, and I will figure out where I'm going to put Lou and anybody else who shows up in the next couple minutes. So, Kyle, you're leading off. Oh, so I should say, going on with my mouse oh lord here is what we're going so tonight in game number 68 we are playing august 26 2021 missing answers 911 washington chapter versus common <laughs> it was well worth the money for pfizer to pay that company to come up with that <laughs> I, you know, so I, I did practice it. saying this whenever I saw that it came out, and I said, "Is it they showed it? They showed how to pronounce it? Community. Yep. Community versus Spike Vax K versus missing members, not penises versus FDA approved team versus it's turtles all the way down. 
who community sounds like somebody drunk person saying community. <laughs> think of really? the, it, it's a um, hodgepodge of words, and one of them is a community, but that's the ATY at the end. It's um, it's, it's it's coronavirus and mRNA and community, and it's another word thrown in there. It's and, ridiculous. And a drunk person. <laughs> yeah, and, the word, and the word community does not have an ATY. It, it, yeah, ridiculous. no. The word's a cat walking on a typewriter. <laughs> brilliant, <laughs> just brilliant. That's the how... comments were the, the, the meeting amongst the team who came up with the name either was way too short or way too long. <laughs> or drunk. <laughs> Both of those are great names for a team. Way too short or way too dr drunk. So who will be the winner at this moment? We have no idea. We mix up the team members each time. Members, not penises. We're mixing them up to be able to uh, have different people on teams each time. So sometimes people play with the, with people that are that they played with in the past. Well, after 68 games, I guess that's going to happen. <laughs> Here we go. So Carl with a K, you are up. I am going to give you your permissions please use them wisely do not uh, um, abuse the fact that you're now a co-host and uh let's listen up and then we, we're gonna mute it. okay here we go susan susan what team am i on i'll put you on one right now thank you you it's not gonna matter you're not gonna notice that i'm putting you on a team because it's fine you won't know until okay It'll carl be a surprise Okay, my category is the other guys. Uh -huh. All right, muting in three, two, one. Go ahead. All right. This comedy duo takes its name from the other guys of two popular musical duos. Number two, the first Doctor has been played by four different actors in the Doctor Who TV show, both classic series and the new show. This is a TV show only, not any stage plays or movies. Name any one of the other guys besides William Hartnell to play the first Doctor. In Star Trek number three, in Star Trek The Next Generation, the ship's doctor was Beverly Crusher, played by Gates McFadden, for all but season two. Name either the replacement doctor character or the actor or actress who played them for season two. Bonus points for both. Pride points for both. Number four. In the TV show Stargate SG-1, the character Dave, Daniel Jackson was played by Michael Shanks. Who played that character in the 1994 Stargate movie? Number five. When Sean Connery quit James Bond, he was replaced by this actor. Number six, when the answer to the previous question quit Bond, he was replaced by this actor. Number seven, Michael J. Fox replaced this actor six weeks into the shooting of Back to the Future. Number eight, name any one of the three actresses who played Catwoman in the 1960s era Adam West Batman. Number nine, David Duchovny left starring full-time in the X-Files TV show after season seven. Name the replacement character or the actor or actress who played them. Number 10. This actress quit Star Trek Voyager a day and a half into filming the pilot episode, 
and was replaced in the role of Captain Catherine Janeway by Kate Mulgrew. And there's a bonus question. Woody Harrelson's character, Woody Boyd, in the TV show Cheers was a replacement character. Name either the replaced character or the actor or actress who played them. Maximum score in this round of 10 points. So does that mean we're actually getting a point for 11 if we get it right? Yes. Yes, oh, cool. So you, you can get one wrong and still get 10 out of 10. Good job, I think we're self-explanatory. Does anybody have any questions? Carl, if you got all correct, would you still only get 10? 10 is the maximum score. <clears throat> Thank you. Can we can we get a point just for knowing that the event in question happened? No. <laughs> so number six, do you, do you want, are you asking for the actor who played in the next Bond movie? Correct. All right. Okay, very good. All right, so let's go to our rooms, play nice. I'm going to put you on your team, Lou. Oh, there's three people I don't have assigned. Okay, hold on. So Jim, you're gonna go, two, three. You're on missing numbers. Where am I going? Here comes Robin. Lou, you're gonna go over to, I put you on spike, spike something. And then Karen, we're gonna put you over here on, on Robin. Okay, so Karen, you need to go over in this one, which is gonna be this one. And then Robin, hi Robin. You know, you're doing a bonus category tonight, right? Robin, she seems to be frozen. And Robin. Hi, Jane. Okay. So I'm going to go to missing answers. Everybody okay? Welcome. Hello, team. Uh Number four, I have never seen this program, so I really wouldn't know. It's Jane Nutt. Um, Daniel Jackson. Okay. Is that the main character archaeologist person? Oh, wait a minute. I did see the movie, and that was James Spader. Yeah, that's where I was. Yeah. Oh, a very young James Spader. So I do know, after all. How about that? <laughs> Number five is George Lazenby. No, it is not. Sean Connery quit. When, it was the guy from The Saint there. No, no, no. When Sean Connery quit, George Lazenby took the role for on Her Majesty's Secret Service. Lazenby didn't do the next movie. He was replaced by Sean Connery. So um, Sean Connery quit and then came back later. So the first right. time he quit, he was replaced by the guy from right. who played The Saint. No, the first time uh, Sean Connery quit, he was replaced by George, Le George Lazenby. George Lazenby only did one movie. Sean Connery came back in Diamonds Are Forever. That was Sean Connery's last movie as Bond. Okay. In, in that series, he was replaced then by Roger Moore in... Uh, That's the guy I was thinking of. Yeah. In, um, Richard seems very time. confident so the, so the, the answer. Okay, so the answer for the, sec the other question is Sean Connery. Then. Sean Connery, yeah. Oh, that's pretty tricky. That's tricky. Yeah. Seven. Nice. Glad you knew that because I, I would have too long. Yeah. Michael J. Fox was replaced for in Back to the Future. I just don't know the actor's name. His oh. name is er Eric something. Eric Stoltz. Yes. That's right. Yes. Yeah. What? Carl Eric being Stoltz. tricky? Who can imagine such a thing? Never. Eric Stoltz, right? Yeah. Uh, Catwoman was played by Julie Newmar and Eartha Kitt. Eartha, Eartha and Kitt. And Lee Merriweather. And Lee Merriweather. So we've got all those. Yeah. Which ones? Which Lee question? Merriweather, Eartha Kitt. What um, question? Julie Newmar. Julie, Julie Newmar. Which Number question eight. are you on? Number eight. Eight. The character who replaced uh, David Duchovny's character was called Agent Doggett. 
also Monica Reyes. Mm -hmm. And ten, I know the story, but I can't think of her name. The actress who played Janeway for a, for a you know a day or in a bit and was replaced. She was had a French accent. Uh, Let's go back to the first one. Well, the yeah, guy like... the guy was coach that that died, and Woody Harrelson took his place when coach died. Question. Oh. What question is that? Number 11. Woody oh, Harrelson's character, Woody Boyd in the show Cheers, was a replacement character. Name either the replaced character, which was coach, coach yeah. or the actor or actress who played them. So just coach. That's good. Uh, let's go back to number one. We'll put our heads together. This comedy duo takes its name from the other guys of two popular musical duos. Well, how many popular musical duos? This will make a of? lot of sense when we know the answer. Well, yeah. well there's like um, the Everly Brothers. There's like Hall and Oates. Simon and Garfunkel. Simon and Garfunkel. Um, um, two popular music duos. Comedy Marilyn duos. Manson. Comedy duos. <laughs> now, are they are they regular duo? Or could they have been a duo from a skit on, say, Saturday Night Live? Or uh, a comedy duo. You Good think question. like comedy duos? Let's list them: of like Abbott two, and Costello. Of two. Wait, wait. The question. Listen to this, though. This comedy duo, one comedy duo, takes its name from the other guys of two popular musical yeah. duos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it's right. Not, so it would it, no, it would be two. So it would be one from one, one from another, which is right. pretty tough. So like, say there was a guy named Hall from Hall and Oates, right? And there's yeah. a comedy guy named Rich I, Hall. So if Rich okay, Hall had but a But it took it from them. It says it's right, like, right. like you're so, taking But that's it. not the answer, but that's just I'm giving it. That's, that's, that's a, yeah. Um, like Abbott and Costello, there's, is there a guy named Abbott who's in a group? I don't think so. But but the but Abbott and Costello were their real names. They didn't take their names from. Yeah, and that goes way back. That's oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it's um, like Martin and Lewis. The same thing. It's their names. It's their names. Yeah, they didn't take their comedy names. Comedy duo from comedy duo that has fictitious. Yeah, wasn't there some sort of a skit with an Art Garfarkle or something like that? That's a, a play on 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 you know from one of these. I don't know if it was a, a Saturday Night Live or 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 Laugh In or something like that, but that they they did a play on. Art Garfarkel or something like that. I don't know if that even rings a bell. No. No, it doesn't ring a bell. Garfunkel it's... and Oates. Hall and Lewis. <laughs> Comedy duo. Um, there, there are many of them. There, that's Abbott, the trouble. There are no, hundreds no, of them. Musical duos. Um, Could it be? Do you guys know who Ken Jong is? Nope. Yeah. Uh, he's in some sort of comedy duo. Uh, the doctor guy? Yeah. yeah, he actually is a doctor. I yeah, think. he was in a TV series and he was in all the... the, the oh, movies. that weird guy, yeah. yeah. He was in the movies, all the uh, the drunk movies there. Kim okay, John. so I'm thinking, okay, who's the Canadian guys? Do, 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 do. That's a comedy the McKen duo. Oh, the McKenzie brothers. Okay. Yeah, Bob and Doug McKenzie. Bob and Doug McKenzie, take off, eh? Could they have taken Bob and Doug from... I music no. okay or another comedy so. duo I'm thinking of is those guys with the hair Mike Myers and Wayne and uh, Goth. That's a comedy duo. Cheech and Chong. Yeah. So Cheech, Cheech and Chong. So Chong. I'm the people Wayne who are comedy, Schuster, comedy, comedy team Lewis. that isn't really a com that not a real name. Not part of a musical duo. So the two names are each drawn from popular musical duos. So, so it would not be the real name. So could they, as a comedy duo, as a comedy take, duo, they could they name. be, could they be a comedy fake name? Like, so like says, I'm saying, it says they take the names from the other guys. So that would imply that it would be if it was Martin and Lewis, then Lewis, because he's not the first, he's the other one. Good point. That doesn't, but a comedy duo is. Sort oh. Of so it would be like the band, like the like the comedy duo's name is like. Garfunkel and Everly, right? Each right, name right. comes from two different musical duos. Who who did um, the Laughing Show? Rowan and Martin. Rowan and Martin. Yeah. So Martin that's and Lewis. Their name, that their names. That's their names. Also. Yeah. 
Martin and Lewis. Yeah, you know, I, I think know. we if, if do we have the other answers? Is this the only one? Yeah, this is the only one. So, uh, and ten and ten. We haven't. Got oh, 10. we didn't get ten. No. Well, do we have the bonus? If we we got the bonus, yeah. But we still need two answers then. Well, we need at least ideally, one of the two. We, uh, nearly, we need one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm afraid that first one might be just too, too elusive. Yeah, yeah, I can't. I can't think of any modern comedy duos except Keenan, Keenan and Peel. But it's, the trouble is, it doesn't say modern. It says comedy duo. That could go way back to Abbott and Costello. And, and it's, it's one of those things that, like you said, I said, when we know it, it's going to make total sense. Yeah, it's probably Punch and Judy. It's Punch, Punch and Judy. Judy. That's it. Very funny. <laughs> That's it. Especially when they play in lighthouses. That's <laughs> <laughs> Why not duo? Either. Now, are the any of the other answers connected at all? Is there any theme to this? Oh yeah, the theme is just the, the general theme of the um, other guys, but there's nothing else. We gotta check and ask. Know. You never know. Um, how's everybody else doing, Carl? We're ready to call um, back. Probably give him a couple more minutes. I think even if we get either one comedy duo or one name of the comedy team. We haven't connected it yet because we just listened. Number one, we're stuck on. So we have to we have to come up with a name of a comedy team that clearly is not their real that name. That we know is not their real name. That's and taken it. from a and taken from a musical duos. Musical um, at least one name of a musical duo. Oh. Okay, let's come up with some comedy teams. He, he and Peel. Who? Right. He and Peel. Yep. Yep. Abbott Who? and Costello. He, that are not their real names. I don't know if they, they could be. Staged. That's their real names, yeah. That's their real names. Bud Abbott and Lou Costello. Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis. Real Trump, names. Trump and Pence. That's it. That's it. And they were the, in that great band we all used to love. <laughs> they weren't funny at all. <laughs> no, they, they flopped terribly. We're naming men. Could it be a woman? Of course. Comedy like duo. A famous co uh, female comedy duo of um, 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 I'm thinking Garfunkel is part of it. Everything, is, my gut tells me Garfunkel is part of it. Have you ever heard of a comedy duo with one of the members called Garfunkel? Well, somebody said Hall and Oates. I That's a funny you, name. I thought Kevin said that. Yeah, but Hall and Oates has nothing in common with Garfunkel. In comedy, you Garfunkel know I mean? and Hall, Hall and Garfunkel, Oates and Gar Garfunkel. But, that's, but there's <laughs> no such comedy. comedy group. It's it should be. I don't, I don't know. I don't, right I, don't, okay. I don't know of anybody with those. That's names. a funny name. It is a very funny name. Do Key and Peel then, just in case, just put something. Who's Key and Peel? I know who they are, but they, who? neither who? one of them, that's their real names. They, so they? Can't be no, we have nothing better than nothing. I, I know, but it's, but it's, it's when keep thinking until we run out of time. Fry, fly, 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 yeah. fry, and Laurie are their real names. Um, who's the who's Stan and Laurel? It's their who's names, Laurel, 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 and Hardy. Laurel and Hardy. So no, <sighs> see Abbott and Costello. Like there's 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 Costello, um, Elvis Stan, Costello was a musician. Stan, Stan Laurel's real name was Stanley Jefferson, but I don't think it really. Comes into it. So no, it was Laurel just a state. So maybe Laurel and Hardy were drawn from some musical duo of the time. No, that's a real names, isn't it? No, but they could be uh, stage names. But no, Oliver I, Hardy was Oliver Hardy. Oliver Hardy was Oliver Hardy. Stan Laurel's real name was Stan. I know, Jefferson. but they could have chosen those as stage names just because that was their name. It doesn't mean it was their real name. Okay, Let's come up with the two musical groups then. And I'll believe you. Um, <laughs> yeah. I don't. I don't it think it's in the nineteen twenties. And uh, <laughs> was, yeah, was, they sang "Good Night, Irene." Jake, Jake Laurel, and Anjanine Jones. I think we're just going to have to admit defeat on this because it's no. Too, we got this. Come on, you guys. We have not got this. I can't even think of any comedy duos. It's, it, it's under pressure. Right. I would still right. fail at this. Cheech and John comedy duo on our show. Any kind. Tina Fey and Amy Poehler. Well, if it's any, if it's any, Who, whose voice was that? Whose voice was that? Oh, <laughs> Sarah. If it's any, if it's any um, 
Consolation. Oh. Oh, hello. I don't think anybody else is going to get this. That's real names. That doesn't make uh, Burns and Allen. What was the guy's name? Burns. Oh, Burns George Allen. Burns. 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 Gracie Allen. Gracie Allen. Gracie Allen. Allen. But, but that was their real names. Yeah. As far as I know. George Collin had a partner named Jack Burns, but that doesn't mean anything either. No. Oh, well. That's I'm okay. I'm wondering if no, I think we've done pretty well. is actually a, not a not a like a like we've been talking about, but I think it might be characters that are a comedy duo. We'll find say out. something. Like Cheech and Chong are a comedy <laughs> duo. Uh, Bullwinkle, Bullwinkle, and and and, yeah. um, and Rocky. Rocky and Bullwinkle. Who's Tenacious D? We're, we're thinking too much. Sometimes Jack Black and Tenacious D. Floating around in Rocky, our game. Rocky and Bullwinkle. <laughs> 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 Natasha, <laughs> Natasha, <laughs> Natasha and Boris. It's going to be Natasha and Boris. Great. And Garfield. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I'm gonna it's put one of the answers is Hall from Hall and Oates. Hall and Garfunkel. Oh, is it? Um, oh, what's their no, names? No. Wait, don't pressure her. <laughs> they have a, a show oh, on. They have right. a show on Broadway. It's uh to, John right. Mulaney and whoever. Sarah was about to give us the answer. Sarah. <laughs> and we were just about to get the answer when just boom. like it was like a murder <laughs> when somebody says. And the murderer, murderer came up is. behind me, and the murderer's name is <laughs> <laughs> Sarah. The was butler like, didn't do it. She's like reasoning it out. Somebody, somebody yeah, but she said John Mulaney, but that's not that's his real name. All right, I was thinking the kids in the hall or something, but in hall, there isn't enough. Everybody's back, right? I, yeah. First one was really hard. Not for some teams. <laughs> At least two teams in? have it. All right. Fine. Fine two teams. Whatever. Excellent, Excellent question. In fact, then. the name of this duo has been mentioned within the last three weeks during trivia. Oh. Well, so are thousands of others, but never mind. <laughs> the comedy you. duo of Garfunkel and Oates. You guys should have heard a little bit more. Man, I got that right off. Karen. <laughs> Yeah, it was saying Hall and Oates, and we said Garfunkel. We just oh, I know that. Together. I know Aaron, that too. Aaron well. actually said Garfunkel and, Funkel and Oates early in your discussion. I have no idea who that is. Is that a real? Is that a real duo? <laughs> what do they do? Yeah, yeah. yeah they're, 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 they're hilarious. They're singing duo. They're hilarious. They they performed at the Steve Allen Theater multiple I times. Susan didn't remember their name. <laughs> Never heard of them. Think of Wait, are you, so you are you saying Karen had it and you didn't listen to her? No, no, okay. Kevin said it, and I was just putting together different names. Right. I don't know it. She just threw together names at random about what about these names? <laughs> 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 we said, like, uh, we said uh, Garfunkel, Hall and Oates. And oh, Karen said, Hello. I think it has to do with Garfunkel. Don't feel yeah. bad. Don't feel bad. It doesn't matter. Kevin okay. said it. <laughs> so the answer to number two, uh, I figured you had a chance at probably two of these, any two, either of these. Uh, the long answer is, in one episode of Doctor Who, The Chase, William Hartnell had a double robot that was played by Edward Warwick. But in some scenes, Hartnell played the ro robot and Warwick played the Doctor. That's pretty um, obscure. That's pretty obscure. Wow. I wouldn't expect too many people to know that one. Uh, of course. They Richard Herndall yep. played the Doctor in the anniversary, 20th anniversary special, The Five Doctors because uh, William Hartnell had passed away. And then Bradley. in a more recent story, Twice Upon a Time, David Bradley Yay. from yes. Harry Potter played the doctor with a, in the final Peter Capaldi story. Yep. Okay, number three. Okay. Wait, wait, so that was, um, did we miss one? It. There were three different people. Did you name three? Warwick. Number two, yeah. Edward Warwick, uh, Richard Herndall, or David Bradley. Any one of those three work. David Bradley, my, that's the one I was thinking My bolding of. doesn't show up in the cut and paste. Twice Upon a Time, right, David Bradley, yep. 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 Uh, number three, Dr. Catherine Pulaski, as played yes. by Deanna Mulder. Yes. Yay. Number four, Wait, hang on. Does I, just just simply Dr. Pulaski count? Yeah. yeah, Dr. Pulaski is acceptable. Okay. Thank you. Uh, number four, 
be glad I asked you the easier version of this question and not what character replaced uh, him when he temporarily left the show for a few years. The actor who played him in the movie was James Spader. Yay! Also yeah. from the uh, two Jonas seasons Quinn of Quinn. The Office. Yeah. Uh, oh, I would have gotten the harder one too. His, he was Quinn. Yep. Ooh, I could really use some ice cream about now. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> what could I? Delicious. I know. It looks good. Hey. George Lazenby played James yes. Bond in the movie On Her Majesty's Secret Service. He did. Yay. And. You had uh, ice cream too, Kelly. One or two teams got this one right. Probably wasn't as big a trick question as I thought. Sean Connery returned to play Bond for another oh, movie. Oh, yes. Diamonds are forever. Uh, yeah. yeah. Thank you, yeah. Mike. Number seven. <laughs> An attempted trick six question. Six weeks worth of Eric Stoltz before coming to the conclusion that Eric, Eric Stoltz wasn't funny. And Eric Stoltz was taking the movie way too seriously. Seriously. It was, it was a, a, like a tragedy. Kept saying what a, what, what a depressing movie this is because he comes home and nobody and everything he knows is all different and he has to lie for the rest of his life about pretending like this is his past and they fired him. <laughs> so, nobody thought it. He was a skeptic. Yeah, huh? he didn't care because that, that, that movie's not going to go anywhere. That movie's not going to go anywhere. So I, for number eight, I specifically didn't say in the TV show because one of these was a Adam West Batman movie. Julie Newmar... Lee Merriweather or Eartha Kitt are all correct. Hey. Hey. Paula, this is for all three. Which is these is, no. is uh, Karen and Brian Hart's friend. Hmm? What? Karen, ha Karen Hart and Brian Hart down in LA, they're friends mm -hmm. with one of the cat women. And she comes over to their house whenever they have parties. And she's huge anti vaxxer Well, I've never seen Julie Newmar. You mean an actual actress who played Catwoman or just someone who has a lot of cats? No, no. <laughs> Somebody who <laughs> played Catwoman. She would, and this is before COVID and all that. But she would, uh, Brian would, Hart would tell I have never it. seen. He said Catwoman just Julie left. Julie Newmar missed her. Kid at Brian Hart's house. So is I it Halle Berry? Maybe it's Halle Berry from the movie. No, I would remember no. that too. But she, Maybe she's number nine. <laughs> Agent John Doggett, played by Roger, Robert Patrick, oh. the same actor who played the T-1000 in Terminator 2 Judgment Day. Oh, I see uh. that. <clears throat> Number 10. Of course. Is Genevieve Bujold. Hey. The movie, oh. the Day and Coma. We had the phonetics right, but not right. <sighs> Damn. I knew that. Uh, well, and the bonus that. question. Genevieve Bujold. Is Coach Juliet Benoist. Oh. Played by Nicholas Calistano. You can just say coach. That would oh, be a good job, team. Yay. I was no help at Everybody all. Everybody knows your name. Uh, good job. I, I just, looked I looked up Garfunkel and Oates, and if you haven't seen them, they're wonderful. But um, Oh, they are awesome. Yep. They hey, put a link. Kate Makuchi plays the yeah. ukulele, and she is she, freaking she, hilarious. She likes yeah. to joke on her name like Mikuchi. Yeah, Makuchi. <laughs> yeah. yeah, she. Hey. When when she uh, does solo, she calls the show "Playing with Mikuchi." Yeah, <laughs> oh, that's awful. <laughs> she was on. Uh, she was on Raising Hope. Did anybody see Raising Hope? Yeah, that, she yeah. was the daycare but I provider. She played the Steve Allen Theater at the Tomorrow Show all the time. That's where I first saw her. So Carl, I could remember the the first name and the first initial all i could come up with for uh voyager uh, i was like ah so close i i need a half point for that one <laughs> <laughs> look it's cat okay here we go so scores, uh, it sounds like you guys did really well. I can't, I can't, I, I was absolutely no help. So remember you're supposed to, since you know I'm gonna be on your team, you should pick things that I might be able to do well. <laughs> so, you know, but I yeah, guess, we have I, it, but everybody did so well, I guess it didn't matter in this one. Okay, going to the scores. 
Um, it's turtles all the way down. Eight. Yay, approved team. Yay, FDA. Uh, seven. Missing members, not penises. Six. I'm seeing a theme here. Nope. <laughs> Is that penises or peni? Oh, you tell me. <laughs> it's probably peenies with two E's. Okay, so Coleman Ritchie yeah. versus Spike Vax K is better not be five. Nine. Oh, they asked them first. Missing answers. Nine one one Washington chapter. Nine. Another nine. Nine Bantu. one six seven eight. Good job. Good job, Carl. I tried not to make them too hard. I like those. <laughs> they were way too hard for me. If it was me by myself, I'd been zero. Okay. Yeah, Richard saved me with the uh, the bond question. I had it wrong. Ah, because George Lazenby's. Yeah, they story. were arguing with each other. We were getting to a point. Yeah, I, I would have had it wrong. But as soon as he <laughs> said it, I'm like, oh, that makes sense. It's a trick question. Mr. Bond, he's got a gun. <laughs> That's not a gun. Hi, Julie. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's see what rob mr palmer might be having in store for us i think it involves a book possibly something to do the bible don't know yeah. maybe oh. so possibly did you see the shirt, the shirt i'm wearing it works bitches. that's a, that's Faith. a richard richard dawkins quote Faith. Faith. <laughs> of course he said science it works bitches yeah, <laughs> yeah. With his accent, you got to do it with the accent. Okay, I can. No, oh, and in honor of the um, Doctor Who, I have uh, the minions on the TARDIS. Oh. If anyone's seen this one? Oh my god, I love that, and I want it. That's so cute. Where, where, who's talking? I didn't see the square. Who's talking? Yeah. Who's talking. <laughs> it's silly. No, they will only. Doctor Who comes up in my category too. Oh no, Rob, you're up, dude. Okay, so here we go. The category is. It's not just a book. It is supposedly the good book. It's Bible versus true or false. Oh, Wilma's gonna kick ass and Bob. <laughs> false. Shooting in we, three. We, we shall see. One. And. Go ahead. So this is the description. Um, all but one of these I'm going to give you are either true or false. I will read a Bible verse and give the source. It's either exactly true or substantially false, meaning that I drastically changed important details of the verse. So, right, you know, if someone says he did it with his left hand, I'm not going to change it to right hand. If someone says- What are the cheese makers, that type of thing? Do you mean that- What translation are you using? Do all you different ones, all that different that ones. Rob, I assume you mean that these uh, asking us whether that is actually the statement or not. That is correct. Okay. So, so if you said that you're referencing these makers, that would be wrong. You Jeez, can't interpret it literally. It's blessed are the makers of dairy products in general. Okay. Rob, can right, you like, assume that you're referencing is correct. You're saying you're going to tell where it came from. Well, I'm going to tell where correct. it came from, and it's either the exact verse from. I'm going to give you the version. Or it is substantially, I have substantially changed it to me to change its meaning. Look at Wilma. The version and the place it's from are always going to be correct. <laughs> that is correct. Right. Wilma's going to uh, drool in a minute. I think she needs a box of cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> Wilma's not on my screen. She must be on the second screen. You can know, wipe the drool off Wilma. her face. <laughs> She's putting a mask on. Where's there you Bob? go, Wilma. I you put a Bob mask on. Too. Okay, first, Bob. number one. All right, and we're going to mix the Old Testament and the New Testament. All right. Number one, this is from Deuteronomy 23, 1, uh, NLRV version. Or is it? No man whose sex organs have been crushed or cut can join in worship with the Lord's people. So there you go. This is one of the team names. Oh. <laughs> oh, come on, Roger. You're busting my balls there. Uh, <laughs> question number two. Go to the New Testament, Luke 14, 26, CSB version. And Jesus said, anyone who desires to follow me, who 
who first does not honor their father, mother, wife, and children cannot be my disciple. True or false? I just remembered that this is Mono's category too. This should be. I hope I have you guys all evenly divided. I well, it is science fiction, right? <laughs> Question number three. If a man lies with his wife on the Sabbath and she is discovered to be unclean, if she has not yet had children for him, she will be stoned to death on the morning following the next Sabbath. Leviticus 2015, NLT. True or false? Wow. Question number four. Go back to the New Testament. As Jesus was on his way back to the city, he was hungry. Seeing a fig tree by the road, he went up to it, but found nothing on it except leaves. He commanded it to blossom, and immediately the tree fruited in abundance. Matthew 21, 18 to 22, NIV. Question number five. If you loan your fellow Israelites money or food or anything else, don't make them pay back more than you loaned to them. Deuteronomy 23, 19, NCV. Seems to be uh, saying you can't NCV? charge interest. What's NCV? Um, I don't remember the titles. New something, something version. New standard. Um, and G, uh, number six. And Jesus then said, I came to bring peace to you all. That's from Matthew 1034 NKJV. Question number seven. Let's go back to the Old Testament. If two women are struggling together and the husband of one attempts to rescue his wife and he puts out his hand and touches the other's womanhood, he shall surrender two pieces of silver to her husband or father as recompense. Deuteronomy 25, 11 to 12, NASB. And I'm not making up these uh, the versions. They're all real. I just uh, I don't remember what they all are. At the time. I didn't know there's so many versions of the Bible, so I started doing this. Oh, my God. Number eight. Slaves, if your earthly master has transgressed, transgressed against Christ, he is not deserving of your obedience, and it is not sinful to disobey his unjust commands. From Ephesians 6, 5, and it's the NLT version. Question number nine, the last true or false. Jesus shouted, and then he died. At once the curtain in the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. The earth shook and rocks split apart. Then graves opened and many of God's people were raised to life. They left their graves and after Jesus had risen to life, they went into the holy city where they were seen by many people. Matthew 27, 50 to 53, the CEV. And lastly, 10, I am going to give you a multiple choice instead of a true and false. In Genesis 7, how many pairs of birds did God command Noah to take on the ark? Made it multiple choice. Two, five, seven, ten, or twelve. And there we go. Well, it's 50-50. Go forth and ascertain the truth. <laughs> okay. You guys are all set? It's pretty straightforward. Caspian will be here later. I'm sure he's going to be so disappointed <laughs> if he missed this one. Now, why don't you help? Okay, so this is easy. Everything's true. <laughs> Done. How's your day? <laughs> What do you guys think? Am I right? I have no idea. Except for then we have to figure out how many how many birds. birds. Uh, oh, we can roll a die. I, I'm, I'm going to take issue with number one and say it might be false. Because, I agree. Because circumcision was a part of life. And so, you know, it's possible whose sex organs have been crushed, but they've been cut already. That's my logic to that one. Now that, 
Deuteronomy, which, which <laughs> I know so much about the Bible. Is that you? Is, it's the Old Testament. So I would agree with you because circumcision was a part of the Jewish religion. Really, yeah. I can join in worship with the Lord's people. That was Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy. That's like oh, no. right up. If we're calling it false, it may not be anything to do with anything in Deuteronomy. Well, my point is, is that the Bible contradicts itself so much that yeah. it's it's likely that that quote could be in there. And you're absolutely right, Aaron, about circumcision. And still, they have the ability to allow people to. Hmm. I think they're so all true. Gonna, so, so you're going to sit here and try to talk us out of all of these. No, it's that, false. That's how Susan ruined the category. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I have some so structure. Aaron, Aaron, I feel like I'm participating somehow. I am sitting in Susan's office. I see I that. I will tell you that it is false. Okay. <laughs> I agree. False. You don't have a cat. Number two. Cat. Number what two. Do you think? Honey, what do you think? Anyone who desires to follow me who first does not honor his father, mother, wife, and children cannot be my disciple. I, well, it certainly sounds plausible, sounds but true. I don't know anything about the New Testament. It's, it's the wife and children that bothers me. Well, they bother would, me a lot. I would say false. <laughs> Jane? False. false. Yeah. I, I, I could go false on that. Yeah, I'm not going to be much help with this. So sounds good to me, Jane. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm I'm going by what sounds good. Or, yeah, or sounds good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. If a man lies with his wife on the Sabbath, as he's discovered Is to be on the Someone writing everything down. Yeah, I am. <laughs> okay. Oh, good. So we got a couple of people. That's good. I think they're all true. So it's it's. <laughs> <laughs> I say three true. So do I. True. Okay. Yep. I can go with that. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> Number four. Up. Four is no. Oh, oh. Gonna, actually, four is yes. No, I I two. know that story. So yes. It's oh three. no, it's the other way around. He killed the fig tree. No, did, did he? Yeah, he killed the fig. Oh, tree. he did punish the fig, fig tree for not yeah. doing figs. That's right. Why did he do that? He got, he, he got he mad. He got mad. And tore the damn thing down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that is that, that. You're right. He did. He he did swarth smythe a uh, fig tree. Yeah. Fig tree. <laughs> oh man, that just ruins everything I did. The number four is the number four is false. Shattered my shattered my. Yes, four is false. Number five. If you loan your fellow Israelites money. More food or anything else, don't make them pay back more than you own. I think that may be true. I thought it was false. And, and they false. said that um, the Jewish people of the temples were the only money lenders. Yep. I believe it's false. They were the only ones allowed to, to lend money. And I guess it was because they were able to charge interest. But see, is that the same as if you if you loan your fellow Israelites? That sounds more like friend to friend. Yes. Or you know one family to another there's a business that does that but if you're doing it you can't charge interest that's right well, yeah, I would think that, they, and, they would all want to be friends well i mean the people who are running a business <laughs> wouldn't want to and you can't necessarily loan your friend two hundred thousand dollars no i will not lend you money or if i do <laughs> you cannot be my friend yeah. <laughs> um and and i also think that that this is true um Based on what I know of the of the Muslim religion, where they make a, a strong effort to not go into debt for things that they need, and that that families help out other families to help yeah. them avoid debt. But there is some kind of a workaround. Oh in yeah, Islam. And I, I mean, there's, oh, there always is. It has to there's be. All, <laughs> there's always the loop. There's always the loophole. Yeah. But but I think but I think. Um, you think it's true? Five is true. Okay, that sounds good to me. Number so six. Six is confusing because I'm sure he's he said many things. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he I might mean, have said, "I bring peace to you all," and then in another false. chapter, he says, "I'm here to smite you all." I think okay, he's trying to be tricky. I think he's yeah. I think <laughs> the question is, what would it be in Matthew? Yeah. Would it be peace or war? 
I have no idea. Most of the New Testament is all about peace and a forgiving God. Hippie, hippie Jesus. For the parts that aren't. Is about to you in the New Testament? Yes. yes. Matthew, did, Mark, Mike, did Mike Matthew. freeze up? Oh, no, he blinked. Pardon? He's, he's, he's having a staring contest with the computer, oh, I thought. Yeah, Mike, you know you're, oh, yeah, you were muted. Yeah. Yeah, I was muted. I just I got, I got nothing to add. Okay. So are we saying six is false or true? <laughs> I think it's coin. false. Okay, false. Let's I go with false. false. Okay. They're all going to be false? No, we have oh. two truths. We have two oh, truths. Have two truths. Seven. If two women are strong together. And he touches the woman's other's womanhood. I, I that? believe they I've read gowns. that. I think I've read that before, actually. Something like sounds, about it that. Sounds like something that would be in. They in were that. very. They were very, and still are, anti-woman. Anything having to do with women. Mm -hmm. Do you think that's true? Yeah. Well, this is. This this is this statement isn't necessarily anti-woman. It's just if. The husband tries to separate the fight and unintentionally or intentionally touches the other woman. He he owes money to the woman's family. Touches the other woman's the other's womanhood. Woman's <laughs> right. right. Woman's hood. How the heck are they gonna touch it though? What's he doing well, touching no underwear? Her? Well, I, well, I can I can can use the description of if they're fighting and the and the husband walks in and tries to pull one off the other. You don't know where your hands are going to end up. So, does a, so, so if a woman wants money given to her family, she's going to she pick a fight with free. another woman and hope that the husband comes in and then she'll say, you touched my womanhood. You yeah. owe me two shillings, two pieces of silver. But and I just goes around and does that all the time. That, that, that could be true. I'd say true. You can make a lot of money off of that. Yeah. So true for seven. And, and were you saying true for eight as well, Aaron? Uh, I think so. Yeah. I think eight is true. Okay, so what time? Read nine again. Jesus shouted and then he died. Nine's and once the false. curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom, the earth shook and rocks split apart. Then nope. graves opened and many of God's people were raised to life. They left false. their graves. False. Yeah, that's false. false. There was no there was no resurrection at the time There's of never death. Seen. It was the mm. zombie apocalypse. And they weren't walking around town. The zombie I don't think he shouted and then died. I think I think he was that, singing a song. The the shouted and then died. Yeah, that, that always always What was the song um, he was singing? Look on the always bright, look on the bright uh, side of life. life. <laughs> the reason they all went downtown was that there was a sale. A sale. But, but <laughs> por portions of this, I think, are in Matthew. But the rising of of all the dead it that sounds like if, any, if if anything, it came from uh, um, 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 Revelations, which is yeah. the last no, no. book in the Bible. Aaron, it's Revelation. Oh, I think nine is false. Okay, there's, right, no, there's no S on that last pairs of birds. You're right, you're right. Wouldn't Man, it be no funny if it was two pairs of birds and that was it? And well, well, we know doves were there. And that's there was probably another one. Yeah, it's, penguins. It's uh, it's a story. There's no truth to it. There's no scientific data. So it could be two pair. No, it's not. Mm -hmm. It could be two. It could, but it's because we know that there's only two mentioned: the dove and the one he sent out first. Which was the one he sent out first? Well, the crow wasn't that a crow that he no. sent out? Or no, no. no I don't remember. Dove. I thought it was a black dove. bird. Oh yeah, it was, yeah. Because yeah. the second one was a white bird. It was a dove. It was an emu. That's right. Emu. It was an emu. <laughs> a flightless bird. The ostrich. Well, in, those, in those days, they could fly. Ah, that makes sense. Too much. I'm just do we want to go with who is any other number on there? Do we I want to go said, with two pairs? I would have said seven. If you want seven, to go with two, two is fine. Two, two pair. I mean, uh -oh. I have I have no no That's idea. a fun one to have two pair and then all two the pairs different pieces of apple. birds coming from it afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> it's a story. It's not there's no truth to it. Yeah, but the first one went out and never came back. So oh, that's that race your kid. Yeah, Jane, 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 we don't care whether it was 
in actuality true. We just care if that's what was said. Yes. So let's read through again, just to make sure. Number one, false, two, false, three, true, four, false. Too fast, too fast. Too fast, oh. One. False. False. Two false. Three true. Four false. Five true. Six false. Seven true. Eight true. Nine false and ten two. Or A. A. Is that what you got, Aaron? The same thing? Yes. Awesome. What? Well, how about that? So I, I, I will not call it science fiction. I'm tapping, on the, I'm tapping on the screen again. You're what? I'm tapping on the Mike's screen. Mike's very intent Mike's on something. <laughs> Why would you tap on the screen? She's because trying to wake up Mike. That's what you do. Well, I'm, a little, uh, I'm a little out of it. Oh, but, Mike's uh, screen. You're tired? Yeah. Yeah. Well, Sorry, Mike. But whatever you guys think, I think that this this round is not my area of expertise. Oh, Mike, me neither. Mike started a job that is making him get up early in the morning. The best part about this round is that we're, we're, I'm on the East Coast, so it's exactly uh, we can flip a coin, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm gonna run upstairs if we're okay with those. Uh, apparently, my dinner's ready, so run okay. upstairs. I'm gonna run upstairs. <laughs> all right, we all done. Yeah, Take we're done. Off. I'm yeah. gonna close the room. Close the book, Rob. Close the rooms. Breakout rooms. Close oh, the rooms. Okay. Paula needs help, she says, Rob. Go over to Paula. I, I don't know where Paula is. Paula's in. Too late. Uh, where is she? Oh, she's in FDA approved. Back, we have we have a wanted to ask. And suddenly everyone's back. I just Rob, told Rob. We, yeah. have, we were trying to get a we were trying to call for help for clarification from you before we got pulled back. Yeah. I didn't, didn't see it. Did we oh, have a whole minute? Me. I don't think we had a whole minute. No, we definitely didn't have a minute. We definitely did and not we have weren't a whole discussing a question when it happened. So we'd like a few more minutes, a few more seconds, please. And uh, can you visit our team, please? What what's your team name? FDA approved. Okay. Okay, only go back if you guys need to go back. So, um, Richard, are you going to share a picture with us? Well, I was, I, let me see if I can do that. Yeah. Give me a sec. I will be right back. Uh, I'm just going to get the dryer. And of course, sin, isn't that the way? As soon as you want to do something, you can't find the damn. Give me a second. I'll see if I can find it. Give me a second. We're going to time you, Richard. <laughs> So I had, um, I met a, a friend for a meal and a friend of hers joined us who was all about the QAnon thing. And it was very interesting to sit and listen to them speak for about half an hour. And one of the things was everything in, and they say, everything in Afghanistan is staged. The media is in on it. They're going to empty the treasures of the Vatican and put them safely elsewhere and blow up the building to start uh -huh. World War III. And it's right. all staged by the lizard people running the world. Hmm. Well, it's good to know, Karen. It's good to know. And this if person, one of those things come true, I'll be shocked. And this person is like on the board of a major foundation in our area, responsible for dispensing millions of dollars in grants and believes this stuff. Do I know who this person is? Um, I don't think so. The foundation is in, based in Salinas, but it's a major foundation. And I could not believe what I was hearing. Oh, and they were talking about um, getting fake uh, vaccination cards. Well, why were yeah. you spending time with these people? <laughs> well, uh, the one person I've known- I wanna, for... hear, I wanna hear this, wait, wait, okay. I'm the, my spot the now. one person I've known for like 20 years and I'm just, striving to maintain connection with her at the advice of, of, of people who um, help with family members who are in cults. Mm. And so we have been able to stay connected and just avoid stuff like this. But this friend of hers that came to sit while we were dining and chat while she was picking up her to-go order went into all these details. And so I looked up this person later and found that 
she's on the board of a major foundation and you know has multiple what, degrees and and believes this stuff i miss the very beginning tell me real quick oh the latest q anon there are crazy people in the world the QAnon stuff that uh, that Afghanistan is staged, none of it is real. Um, even the deaths, uh, the horrible deaths when the planes were taking off, that was all staged according to QAnon, and that they're going to try and get us into World War III. But it's all staged. They'll empty all of the um, treasures from the Vatican and blow really blow up the Vatican to get people riled. But all of the treasures will be protected elsewhere by the lizard people running the cabal. And how could you deny Christ. it? No, no, Susan. Susan runs the cabal. Not the I do have the secret Susan's cabal. Susan's a lizard person. Well, the royal family's supposed to be lizard people. So, Karen, is Ooh. this the same friend as that you've been talking talking to us about, or is this a new friend? No, it, it, was, a, it, was, a, it was a friend. It was an acquaintance of hers who saw us oh. when we were dining out, and then and then was picking up a to go order and just kind of went away. Oh, so do you think they're feeding each other? Yeah, like, but but my my friend was saying, oh wow, I'll look that up. Oh wow, I haven't. Wow, okay. And, and what was okay? What was the expression on your face as this is happening? Um, the the expression one makes when they're eating delicious mole and saffron homemade tortillas and neutral and like this, nodding my head and just lit, look looking at them. They didn't even ask me a question in like half an hour. Never asked me a question or anything. I just was listening. I just taking it all in and enjoying a very good meal. Huh. I think that would ruin the meal for me. Oh. Okay. So I wanted hey. the information. I wanted to know what these people are thinking. And how they were just giving, shoveling it out. Think and what wonderful it eatery that were you enjoying what, this great food? Ah, I recommend in Carmel by the sea. It's called Cultura. Excellent. Okay, okay so is everybody back? Karen, I have heard Everybody's here, right? that using street epistemology might be of use in this. I don't know if that's true. I so missed what you said, Lou. I said I have heard that using street epistemology techniques may be of use in this situation. Yeah, why, so how did help? you find that out? How did you know? Where did you hear that? Wow. Have you... Yeah. Can you Karen has been you? using some of those, I think. Yeah, I've, I've made some progress with my dear friend of 20 years, but but not her thought. friend, of course. Yeah. Wow. Don't worry, there's no hope. <laughs> Thank you so much. <sighs> <laughs> oh my gosh. It makes me feel so much have, better. There have been people like this all through all through history. It's just that now they get more notoriety. Yeah, that's true. And they can find each other Afghans, better. Yeah. And they yeah. can find each other. False flag. And I think it's easier for them to be supported in their beliefs because they find each other online. Much, much, much more so. Right. Absolutely. I, I, Go just, ahead, Rob. I just got to share my favorite conspiracy real quick. Well, it's a well-known fact, Sonny Jim, that there's a secret society of the five wealthiest people in the world, known as the Pentaverite, mm. who run everything in the world, including the newspapers, and meet tri-annually at a secret country mansion in Colorado, known as the Meadows. So who's in this Pentaverite? The Queen, the Vatican, the Gettys, the Rothschilds, and Colonel Sanders before he went tits up. <laughs> oh, I hated the colonel with his wee beady eyes and that smug look on his face. Oh, you're gonna buy my chicken. Oh, Dad, how can you hate the colonel? Because he puts an addictive chemical in his chicken that makes you crave it fortnightly smart ass. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> That's the look that Karen had. Good answer. Interesting. 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 Yes. Interesting. <laughs> Thanks, Carl. I never saw it. I married a mur Matt ex murder. Oh, it's got its moment. It's <laughs> that movie's fun. How many roles does he play? I saw it oh, at least two. Yeah. yeah, there was two there. <laughs> All right. Do, 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 okay. Do, 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 How do we think we did? I, I, I was. Um, very interested in, in the few rooms I was in when I was hearing people discuss it. And uh, as Susan says, a lot of people talk themselves out of the right answer. Uh, Susan didn't say that. Susan said all of them are true. And then my team went through and. and all of them are false. Then, <laughs> then I said, maybe they're all false. No, no, I thought they were all true. And then, I they, and then they went through and analyzed that. them. 
I was ready to just have a sing along, good old sing along. Eight, seven or eight faults. Something to do in the That's meantime. That's confirmation bias because people discuss answers and questions all the time. Sometimes they'll talk themselves out of the right answer, but they didn't know it was the right answer. But sometimes they'll talk themselves out of the wrong answer and into the right answer. So true. Mm -hmm. I, and I actually heard one group talk themselves out of the wrong answer that they were pretty sure on, and then they changed it to the right answer. Okay, <laughs> so here we go. Question number one. Uh, no man whose sex organs have been crushed or cut, and that's the interesting point. I know a lot of people had a problem with that. Can join in worship with, that, yes. with the Lord's people, <laughs> especially the men. <laughs> and in fact, that is true. I'll and and I no, I cannot explain why that's okay when, as yes, the Jewish people are circumcised. See? There and as I pointed out, who said consistency is a, a thing? Okay. Yep. <laughs> so that is true. Um, number two. Uh, anyone who desires to follow me, who does for not honor all those people cannot be my disciple. And in fact, it's the opposite. And Jesus said, if anyone comes to me and does not hate, H-A-T-E, his own father and mother, wife and children, brother and sisters, yes, even his own life, he cannot be my disciple. Nice guy. Really? And I'll say that publicly as it's being recorded. Cult leader. Cult leader. Red alerts. If he even existed. It, it, yeah, he didn't exist, so it doesn't matter. To, to the extent that he, that he existed, which is minimal. <laughs> Number three. Best. If a man lies with his wife on the Sabbath and she is discovered to be unclean, if she has not yet had children for him and she will, she will be stoned to death in the morning following the next Sabbath. What do people think about that? False. I thought it was all true. So False. Thought... No, false. It, is in, it is in fact false. I made that whole thing up. <laughs> But the equivalent, which is there, is if a man has sex with an animal, he must there be put go. to death, and the animal must be killed also. Nice. Oh, nice. What, what did the poor animal. goat do? What did the poor freaking goat do? Well, all that killing makes was him asking hungry. for it. Was smiling. Yeah. The goat was smiling. Have a nice barbecue. Oh. The goat liked it, so it needed to be. <laughs> <laughs> they get to like it, then they show up at your house. <laughs> Bring bringing you presents yeah who they bring that? all their friends over who said that is that ben that was bob, bob. Um, i don't know if i could get through these uh, <laughs> you should have Siri read them yeah uh okay no. number four as jesus was on his way back to the city he was hungry seeing a fig tree by the road he went up to him and found nothing on it except leaves he commanded it to blossom and immediately treat fruited in abundance sounds like a reasonable thing it's that false. the god could do that one, our team said false and Curse that's correct. that damn tree <laughs> he cursed the tree because <laughs> hey it should you know he, he apparently didn't know when a, a, a fruit I mean, should be in season or not or if it's jesus yeah that's a good question yeah sure yeah, it's Yeshua. May, his curse was, may you never bear fruit again, and immediately the tree withered. Shriveled up and died. Dead. Now, if, we were to, if we were to translate his name to English, he would be our savior, Josh. <laughs> Josh? Josh. Josh. <laughs> Yeshua. Yeshua. Number five. So this one all has to do with banking and interesting, like, you know, what everyone does is, uh, is collect interest. If you loan your fellow Israelites money or food or anything else, don't make them pay back more than you loan them. And apparently that's true. That is true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But anybody else, fair game. Yeah. Founding. As long as you're not. Number six. That, that's, that's how Jews got into the uh, banking business. I, yeah. I said yeah, that. Because the, said because that the Christians... Right, wouldn't uh, weren't allowed to charge interest because of that verse. I have that in recording that I said that, didn't I, team? We'll have to. I'll have to watch it. I'll be one of the five <laughs> views later to make sure that that's what happens. Ten on average, we're at thirteen. It's about average views. Number six, and Jesus then said, "I came to bring peace to you all," from yes. uh, the Gospel of Matthew. And of course, no, this was uh, pretty obvious because he said the opposite. Uh, do not think that I came to bring peace. I did not come to bring peace, but a sword. Or a piece of a sword. <laughs> How about a sword a and a rock? Or, or just a piece, 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 which is a, to the sword. a handgun. Or a pepperoni pizza. <laughs> or a sorted piece. <laughs> so seven, you said, seven, I, seven I found really interesting. I had never heard this one before. Uh, if two women are struggling together and the husband of one attempts to rescue his wife and he puts out his hand that touches the other's womanhood, whatever that means, he shall surrender two pieces of silver to her husband or father as recompense. What do you think about that one? 
Her womanhood is her brain. <laughs> Wasn't no, it the reverse? There's though? nothing like in the Old Testament where they give him? a shit about two women doing anything. Good, <laughs> good <laughs> point. Literature. Good point. So what I did was change the one with if two men are struggling together. And the wife of one comes near to deliver her husband from the hand of the one who is striking him and puts out her hand and seizes his genitals, <laughs> then you shall cut off her hand. <gasps> so you mean if she cleverly and successfully breaks up the fight, that's with correct. Effort, she is to be punished. She loses she's her allowed hand. To his, his she's junk. allowed to break up the fight as long as she doesn't touch. Was this the a real part. common thing that they needed to put this in the? I'm thinking like what went down that they oh. had to feel this was necessary. You to know, if they put it in writing, they decided to kick him in the nuts instead. <laughs> We it's knew like that this had says, to be. You're not eating hallucinogenics to the animal, but the zoos. We knew this had to be false because if it was the way, if it was a true, then that there would be women who would be going around <laughs> fighting with other men's wives in the hope that they would get broken up by a husband. And then she would scream, You oh. do to my womanhood. You owe my family money. And then you can make a living at this. Ah, see, you figured that out. That was very good. Yeah, but it was it was more obvious because it no, nothing in the Old Testament cares about what women cares do about what yeah, the the Bible, I guess, did not did not pass the what is it the Bechdel test? <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> number eight. Is it possible to get a negative number on the Bechdel test? <laughs> <laughs> number eight, slaves. If your earthly master has transgressed against Christ. He is not deserving of your obedience, and it is not sinful to disobey his unjust commands. This is false because it is the opposite. Slaves, obey your earthly masters with deep respect and fear. Serve them sincerely as you would serve Christ. What it's, a loving religion. Yeah, and it's like, it's like oh, the New Testament's better than the Old Testament. Jesus, well, I, I don't get it. Didn't say anything about slavery. Say, you know, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. And Oh, Jesus, 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 Jesus. And, they're, and, and it's supporting the slave narrative. I don't get it. I don't get what it. What is wrong with people? <laughs> and and, 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 and it turns out African Americans are more religious than, than white Americans. What, Bob? Baby steps. You can't just come in. <laughs> oh, just 500 years later, maybe somebody will finally figure this out. Uh, Question number nine. Jesus shouted, and then he Jesus died. Shouted. Jesus shouted, and then he died. At once, the, chart, the curtain in the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. The earth shook, rocks split apart, the graves opened, and many, basically, zombies came out and walked into the city, and everyone saw them. So you think this would be big news. And that, in fact, is true. At least uh, that's what it says happened. Uh, man, we Strangely said that they missing were missing seeing... from the works of Josephus, though. I think people thought that was so bizarre, Rob had to make that up. But no, that's we in were, one we of the four seeing... Gospels. What, none of the other three, none of the, the other, other authors decided it was important enough to mention. Which gospel was it in? Matthew. What did he shout? Ouch. <laughs> Ouch. You know, what wasn't, what wasn't, you know, said about, about the people. Latu, started, Verata, Nictu. The people started yeah. hitting. Eloi, Eloi, lama sabachthani. Or something like that. splinter. People started hitting them. Forsaken me. People started hitting them in the head with shovels, you know, because they're zombies. Oh, oh. Not dead. Oh. Not dead. Uh, yes. In Genesis, out of here. I don't, so does anyone know what the Christian apologetic for that stupidity is? That one. Which one? No, the one I just read about the zombies. No. It's, oh. it's I haven't heard a good apocalyptic one. Apocalyptic imagery. Oh. All oh, right. They were just telling oh. a story, I guess. Yeah, duh. The whole thing. That's Matthew, huh? Matthew's gospel had been boring up till then. And he was trying to ask <laughs> Come on, you got to spice it up, Matt. Put some, put some interesting zombie some stuff zombies in, in there. The, the editors asked for a little more action. <laughs> so, um, my evangelical uncle's funeral, uh, they literally said, like, the priest was like, all these graves will open up and they will walk the earth again. And then really? we got out of the car. I was like, "Can we talk about zombies?" <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I can't really believe that. Okay, Julie, yeah. what was your face when it? What it was your face whenever this was being said in the church? You're like, "Are you looking at Jeff?" Like, did they just say what? Yeah, we both gave each other a look. Yeah, it was in a graveyard, and he was like, "In that show, rent the earth, and they were any like really small children?" <laughs> like, like hopefully not today. <laughs> um, <laughs> right in the creed, resurrection of the body. 
you gotta carry a shovel or something uh, with you just in case it happens when you're I, I, I will I will say I will say though that when when you have been told that all your life and you've believed it all your life and then you realize it's all bullshit then and then you hear it you're going holy crap how did i ever believe that like it's really bizarre <laughs> well did yeah. you think of them as zombies or did you just think of the dead no. rising just that they were back alive so you never it used the, the word dead zombie. restored to life no never used no. the word zombie that's well, what how they get around kind of dirty they're no longer dead it's at that point. magic no, they are the undead to life. right <laughs> yeah, I mean, that was a previous thing with lazarus right so it's not like it uh, Mm. Yeah, really, that, that one they made a big deal of right this right. this one is like well you think this would be uh, news this, this was a whole John bunch of people and, and the other question like if this was a science fiction there, there, there are stories like that right the uh, 4400 or whatever 1400 science fiction things where people disappear then they come back uh, manifest was like that a this plane disappears for seven what? years it comes back um and then the question is what happens to the lives of the people they left behind who thought they were dead they got remarried you know, things like that. What happens well, then? Came back after the movie, that. very Don't recently, worry, where somebody snapped their hands and uh, half it's of just the... just a glitch. Did you all notice that we were earlier, before we started going through these answers, talking <laughs> about Karen's story and thinking how amazing it was that people believed that. They believe this. <laughs> yep. All right, and final... True, true. Gail's right. Final question. There's a book maybe 20, 30 years ago by Philip Wiley, uh, science no. fiction in which, in which um, there was some sort of a cataclysmic event and the world split and there was half of, half of the people, all the females were in one universe and all the males in the other and they each made their lives what they made them. And then 20 years later, it came back together and what happened? And a very interesting book. A lot of sex, I imagine. <laughs> yeah, so like, I think the most recent version of this is um, the last two Avengers films, right? Right? Uh, yeah. The Infinity War, and then and so half, half the human race disappears, and then they come back. And what happens then? You know, and Five and minutes later, there's people in their house. Right, exactly. Right? They've lost a job, the bank account is closed, yeah. their wife would marry. The people who were in an airplane when they got snapped out of existence and got snapped back into existence in midair. <laughs> is that what happened? <laughs> <laughs> they didn't make that clear Very all right finally i didn't see that movie you're not supposed to tell me this ending Ugh, statute it's of limitations now, is over it's now long yeah, enough. It's i'll it's remember that me. robert number 10 all right did anybody say two yes nope yes it is not two the answer <laughs> is i'll read the verse take with you seven pairs of all hey. clean animals the male and his mate and a pair of the animals that are not clean the male and his mate so it's seven of clean, two of not. And then he specifies, and seven pairs of the birds of the heavens, male and female, to keep their offspring alive in the face of the earth. So Answer is, is C, seven. All right. Yeah, that's, one of, the, uh, and two one that's one of the details that you can use to see how closely people have studied the, uh, um, the Noah's Ark story, whether yep. it's two animals or whether it's you know, one pair or seven. So I wonder if in that that monstrosity that they built, uh, the Ark Encounter, birds, are they? you know, the full size scale model, I, I don't think they have seven of things. I think they like show two of everything. Um, I'm not going to go check. That's I'm mammals. not going to go check. <laughs> but according to the Bible, they are unclean birds. Unclean birds. There are unclean birds, but not all birds are unclean. The under no, no, no. That are unclean, unclean birds. birds. The underlying story there is that seven. Otherwise, no, no, um, there are no. No bat or are, are bats in the list of unclean birds? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah oddly. Are. I don't think so. But they're also seven is the is the prototypical magic number. Ah. So therefore seven. Number of fullness. Tell me the difference between clean and unclean birds. Chickens are dirty and ospreys do pretty darn good. Yeah. Um, clean and dirty. unclean is whether or not you're allowed to eat them. It turns out that you, actually it turns out that they didn't actually specify qualities of the animals that made them clean or unclean. They just listed various animals. That is that is incorrect. Thought. No, I think In, that's right. No, it, it depends on the category of animal or of, of creature. In the case of birds, they didn't list any category. They didn't list any characteristic. They simply listed um, clean and unclean ones. In the case of um, land animals, they explicitly 
gave a prescription, which is chew their cud and have cloven hoofs. But about, about the birds, the question but, came but up. About the birds, they did not uh, give any characteristics. Yeah, it came up because with the, it was co duck was kosher. This question came up with a friend of mine who was Jewish. Yeah. <laughs> you can, well, no, you the can big question is turkey, them for sacrifice. Is turkey kosher? <laughs> they didn't because have turkey them. is a new world bird, and there's absolutely no way that you can determine whether well, it's kosher or not. Mono, did you finish what you're saying? Kosher, Wait a minute. If it wasn't, it's not. if it wasn't in the old world, how did uh, Adam name it? Because he named all the creatures on Earth. <clears throat> um, to the extent that, <sighs> that it came up, it's not a problem. <laughs> okay, let's go with our scores. <laughs> yeah, the scores. Okay. We're gonna put your yeah, spreadsheet. So let's go over here and see. Oh, I got a raise the size of this darn thing. That's big enough. Okay. <laughs> so we have, let's start here with missing four, nine, one, one, four, one, one. Nine. Nine. Uh. Comidity versus Spike Vax K. Four. Ah, oh, the curse. Ah. Uh -huh. Missing members, not penises. Five. FDA approval team. Ten. Ooh -hoo. Ah. Wow, look at that. It's turtles all the way down. Ten. Oh, well, the teams that were lower. Uh oh. Missing Separating penises. A week from the it's not looking good for you. But no. look. What? A, what? Okay. We're gonna see. We're gonna take a five minute break. Come. Oh wait, let's take a picture. Oh. Photo. Photo. That's not a photo. No. Uh, <laughs> so bats are also mentioned. Yes, bats are mentioned. As birds, I guess. And this is Wikipedia. You're trusting? No. So I'm, I actually looked it up in the Bible. These are the okay. birds that you regard as unclean and not eat because they are unclean. The eagle, the vulture, the black vulture, the red kite, any kind of black kite, any kind of raven, the horned owl, the screech owl, the gull, any kind of hawk, the little owl, the cormorant, the great owl, the white owl, the desert owl, the osprey, the stork of any kind of heron, the hoopy, and the bat. No, I don't know what a hoopy is. It's a hoop, not really. I think that would be a hoopo. It is. Oopo, yeah. All right. So everybody smile at the camera so I can take a nice picture. Wait, one second, one second. I need to put on my, my filter. The filter? Is my, my you filter. Out my hair down. You have to put your uh, your your plant on. Uh, much better. <laughs> okay. He's out <laughs> of <a> fertile mind. <laughs> one, two, three. Wait, wait, Karen, get in the picture. At one, least something two. something's growing in Avi's head. That's good. <laughs> okay. One, Avi, you'll be two, three. Good. Oh, kitty. Oh, that's a good one of Karen. Okay. I think that's I got not her. your cat. You're done? She's somebody else's house member. I know. You're done? Okay. Now can I done. go put the chickens in? Speaking of cats, I'm I gotta go head out food. now. So good night, You'll be glad it's to like know that I got out. Good night, Avi. Good night, Avi. Good night, Avi. That's beautiful. Good night, everyone. We're losing Mike to unclean hoopo. Good night, Mike. I'm gonna go put my chickens in. Are you still recording there, Susan? That's yeah. cool, yeah. Robin. Yes, oh. the, those hoopo is common um, in Eurasia. From it, it occasionally strays as far north as England, and it's all over India, for example. But between England and India, it's pretty much everywhere. Speaking of birds, I want to show this off because I think we only showed it to the team before Jordan's already gone to bed. But oh, Jordan look. threw this for me. It's oh, gorgeous. Wow. Isn't that it great? Oh. Oh, Gordon is an artist there. All right. Look at that. Yeah. Very pretty. Let me put this up on. I'm going to put this up on Facebook. Um, I just I just wanted to say thank you to Rob. Um, but I was not the ringer in my team. That was probably Leonard. So wow. Leonard was the ringer. <laughs> for the, for the Old Testament Leonard ones. Corrected me Testament. on a few things. Wow. I failed. Well, you know what they say all. about atheists knowing the Bible better than yeah. uh, most yes. people. Yes, Leonard yeah. did fine with the Jesus. Well, especially as a Catholic, as a, I was at 12 years old Catholic school. We never read the Bible. Oh, you know, Catholics, you wouldn't. 
Yeah, yeah. Wow. So what's the point? We we got told. We didn't read it. We got told which parts were important to us. Right. Right. Yep. Right. We, we read the crap the out of the thing. Bible and Luther. Right. And interestingly, I, you know, they would always read sermons uh, at Easter time about Jesus's crucifixion and raising from the dead, and they never read the zombie story to us. People would have walked out. I don't understand why they just don't say zombie. That's uh, you would have had more kids probably paying attention. <laughs> I read um, one time. Uh, I don't know about twenty five years ago. <clears throat> I read some. Uh, I was kind of messing with somebody and I started reading some stuff and he was saying, don't say that. Don't say that. That's horrible. You know, I'm a Christian and I, that temptation, you know, whatever temptation, these words. And I'm like, dude, this is from song of Solomon. Oh, <laughs> did he know what that was? The erotic poetry of the Bible. Yeah. He's like, thought I was trying to tempt him with, you know, this, oh, you know yep, all, the, all them clusters of grapes. Karen, did he know what that was? He, yeah, he knew it was a book in the Bible, but he, he had not studied it, apparently. It's, no. it's not a book you tend to read aloud in Christian Sunday school much. Or any other place. Okay, so don't forget to start putting tagging your picture, too. Susan, I, I noticed that in our um, team name, it says Kevin, and Kevin is in, and it doesn't say Karen. I thought at first it was a typo that Kevin was there first, twice, but maybe not. I don't know. There's a lot of K people in our group. Oh, well. There's a reason for that, Karen. Karen. We have we have four Ks in our group. Well, you don't want to have That's three. Than having yes, Karen saved okay. us from being three Ks. <laughs> Okay, so let me see. Okay, I said. I said, okay, okay. I used are you still Laura. recording? I yeah. used to be Laura at Jamba yeah. Juice the other day. Why Why are you recording this part? Because it's... Oh, okay. He always records it. Yeah. And oh, I didn't know that. The whole thing, I'm, I'm saving this for my my memories when I'm not all there. And I want to just sit and hang and talk to you guys. Okay, what, I wanted to play something, now? but I don't want to record it. So oh, okay. I'll, I'll another pause. time. Susan, I Carl, watched, Alan, I Kevin, Kyle, and Saunders. Thank you. I watched one I missed, and um, about midway through, I forgot that I was watching a recording, and I was gonna try and like unmute to say something. I <laughs> <laughs> How did it I heard other people say that too, Karen. Don't don't. Karen's like funny. these people are being very rude. They're not letting me talk at all. Am I on mute? Am I on mute? Karen, did it work? Mute. The thing that jumps out me when I'm watching it that makes it different is there are no names on, on the squares. Yeah. And if you have it in the background, you're just listening to it. Okay, so I'm putting these on some of these quotes on, on Facebook. Okay. True or false? Oh, you mean those quotes? Yeah, I'm just putting them up so people can. Rhonda, it was a good job of uh, switching them around and making them up. Yeah, I, I had fun. Originally, I was going to have somebody I heard say, oh, they're probably all false when they started. I was going to do that. And then uh, I didn't know, uh, because then they'll see the pattern if there's too many. So then I switched it up. Yeah, I thought, I thought they were all true. There, there did wind up being a pattern, by the way. I don't know if you guys at the end noticed. It that. was four, true, one, false, one. false, false, true, false, 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 true, seven. That's correct. That's correct. Symmetric. Yeah, and, and I switched them around at the end to make it that way. Just because I don't know OCD. <laughs> okay. So I, like I, I, I was agonizing. Should I have all the false first, so then they think they're all false, or, they're all right? or should I, or should I put all the truths first, so then they think the false ones are true? <laughs> it's like I don't know. I don't this think you I intentionally this use a like I use a, a computer to randomize it for me, so that way nice. that way I at least am not introducing my own biases, and it's only the computer's biases that go. You in. use nice. a computer to Jeff, pseudo Jeff, just random. Get a ten sided job. Sure. Well, right. I could use it. That's to up for debate, it, but it would take a lot more time, as yeah. in seconds rather than milliseconds. But sure. I, I actually, the, the final way I did it was, I believe I kept it that way, was Old Testament, New Testament, Old Testament, New Testament, Old Testament. Yeah. Somebody like remind me. Up the translations too. Somebody remind well, me at the end of the game that I've got to update because uh, I'm making the um, next week's uh, uh, Facebook thing and you know the little chart I have of everything, mm -hmm. all the games we've played. 
all the different categories i'm putting right. them on right now i'm so just remind me that i need updated once we have the other two so um, so the reason yeah. i had all the different um translations by the way mm -hmm. is That's sometimes they're extremely not clear uh, you know, it's like, <laughs> I'm, just, like I'm reading this. I don't even know what it says. How can I ask you if it's true or false? You know, that, that, yeah, it's horrible. And, you know, on, on some of those versions is what people use. And so I don't even understand yep. how they know what this is supposed to say. So, but then clearly someone came along and said, let's make this clear. And then how do you know if that's what it really was supposed to mean? But, and, and the one, and the one with the male parts being cut, that specifically is so different in every single one. They don't want one, it to be, they don't want it to be clear. Clear. Yes. One, one, actually, one actually says if his stones are crushed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, I think that's close to the original Hebrew. I have every yeah, single one of these translations except for the New International Readers version upstairs on my bookshelf. Wow. Why? Right, right next to Richard Dawkins, The God Delusion. Why, wow. why did you have those next to I, 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 well, first of all, I uh, went to Christian grade school and went to Christian high school. So spent a lot of my life in Lutheran and uh, also just studying English translations of the Bible is a bit of a hobby. It's okay. kind of a fascinating subject. Well, this so has been an interesting pandemic. And, and so, the under, so, the different underlying Greek texts that they so for the new were text. you the ringer? Were you the ringer on your team? Uh, it was a pretty collaborative effort, actually. I was going to ask the same thing if, 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 if he scored high on this because... Carl, and I was also wondering about mono and, and send it. What was that, Ben? Ben wants me to take a picture of my bookshelf and send it. Uh, oh. You no, know, in our group, it was Bob who did all the work, heavy lifting. Wow. Good way to go, Bob. There had a couple I had to think about because they, like, when it said cut, and I said, no, there's somewhere it says if you're, if you're, yeah, if your stones are crushed, that if you'd said that, oh yeah, that's right. But but because of the translation, I go. Yeah, I actually on that one, I, I picked the translation that would not be that would be the least obvious, and I, I knew there was a contradiction with circumcision, and, and you know, people had a problem with that. But that is the way yeah, that version of the Bible is written. Well, in some translations. Right. Yeah, I mean, that, that's got, what I mean. That got that, me that too. Version on a few. Of the Bible. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we're back, and we're. And we're back, and we're back, we're back, we're back. So we have a few announcements, I'm sure. We have uh, Ronders. Not back. He's not back. There he is. Oh, there he is. Saunders? Yes. You're up. All right, that's my soup. No, this I don't want to know about your soup. Zone. I want to hear what's next on the skeptic zone. Yeah, I'm going to run downstairs and get some soup. <laughs> I just did skeptic that. Zone. Adrian we're getting had to soup. run upstairs. The next skeptic zone, we're getting soup on episode 666. It's actually 673 oh. uh, for the 29th of August. We have an adventure with Adrian Hill. Adrian Hill travels to Jasper, Canada to investigate a crystal new age shop. We also have COVID advice to cope with lockdown from Maynard. <laughs> the Trove segment this, this week looks at thought reading, which is an interesting sort of variation. And we also have the Skeptics newsletter, again, read by Adrian Hill. All that and more on the Skeptic Zone at skepticzone.tv. Very good. Where's Kyle? Hey, hey. Kyle, you're up. Well, thank you. This week on Data Skeptic, we're still talking about time series, specifically a project that you can try out in your browser. It's kind of fun at comp-engine.org. It has all these ways you can play around with time series data and compare stuff. So got into it with the researcher who built that this week on Data Skeptic. Cool. And we're supposed to, all of our Californians, please vote. Oh, yeah. Right, Karen? Oh, no, on the recall. Re vote no on question number one. And why are they trying ASAP? Yeah. Why are they trying to recall this guy? What's happening? Um, if, you were to, if you were to look at the petition that they circulated to acquire these million and a half plus signatures, yeah, a small, a small fraction of the tens of thousands, tens of millions of people who uh, who voted uh, in the election before to seat the governor, um, it's pretty much a list of everything he's done, which is the reason why I like him. His position oh. on healthcare, <laughs> immigration, 
uh, women's right to choose, uh, his response to the COVID, uh, COVID situation, all of that. They are against and he had a dinner party with some rich people in Napa. But they're in all... violation of his own orders. But, yeah. but that's not the reason uh, that they're recalling him. It's they're doing yeah. it because they, dis, they, they disagree with everything, uh, with many things he's doing. Okay. And they're the calling him because he's a he's a Democrat and they're Republicans. And right. And yes, this is, is a this massive. This is all the, the Republican Aaron? obstructionism, just like Mitch McConnell not allowing a vote for Supreme Court justice. Uh, just whatever Aaron, they can do to fuck with us. Is and we foolishly we foolishly have no law which prevents a recall from occurring within one year of an of a normal a regularly scheduled election. So we're spending two hundred and eighty million dollars on this special. That's, election. that's not the problem, Karen. Nine months. The problem isn't that we months, don't have a nine law. Nine months before we're already going to have one. So it's really ridiculous on many levels. Karen, what, what is what's your ridiculous is having a recall process at all. Okay, well, That's what I'll, elections are for. No, I wanted Karen's recommendation for the second part of the ballot. Should we not vote, or is there a particular person who would you would recommend to vote for? Because there are 43 people or something. So if I put on my hat as a chair of the Democratic Party, the official position for Monterey County, the official position is just vote no, vote no, leave it blank, and send it in. So that's the because the properly endorsed person is still seated and none of them are qualified. There's no one that they can endorse. So, so me, can I? Yeah, so me well, first, I can finish. So, so that's the official position. And also, so me personally, I'm finding that people are quite uh, confused by all of the candidates, uh, scant information online about them. So well-intentioned people are spending a lot of time trying to study and research them and they are delaying simply marking it and turning it in and some will not vote at all because of that overwhelm. So, so for me, I also recommend none of them are qualified. Don't do market research for any of these idiots. Just leave it blank. Okay. Is there then virtually no chance that this will get through? There's a damn good chance it'll get through. Oh yes. Really? The chance. Do you see what wow. Jane says? The California Republican clown car full of dithering dipshittery. <laughs> because yeah. the clowns in the clown car obey their orange master and Democrats just go off. It's like herding cats, you know? Uh, and you know what? Karen's absolutely right. Cause look, my ballot is still sitting here staring at me. And last week I said I was going to send it in and it's been a week and I haven't sent it in. So, yeah, me so and I'm going to wait until to... September 3rd. No. and see who the list of approved write-in candidates are and see if any of those are worth a shit. I'm just going to send it. I'm, I'm done. I, just, I, I think it's worth voting for somebody just so it's not Larry Elder. That's <laughs> my point. Yeah. But, but if we're all scrambled, then that's not going to happen. Well, see, that's what I'm thinking is that I think we're going to, we're just taking, we're delaying. And if something happens to you, Karen, not Karen, Janine knows how your life can change just going out for a bike ride to go bike ride, you know, <laughs> and don't be just go out for by a three legged dog. Her, and a three legged That's dog right. comes and changes her, you know, the next six months of her life. And I think that we should, we should just do it and just get it done. That's how I'm going to look at it. So, but just as a reminder, vote. And if you know somebody in California and you're not in California, get them to vote and tell everybody else vote and make sure you're reminding everybody to vote. Because that's the only way we're going to lose this is if people don't vote. Susan? Yes. Have you voted? I just said I've got my ballot sitting right here. I haven't <laughs> done it. Shush. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Leonard was just following your instructions. Yeah, well, make sure everybody does. How about you, oh. Jim? I, I have voted and I have sent my ballot in and I have gotten the message from them that they have received it and counted it. Okay, so, na so nag Excellent. everybody you know that's in California. Oh. Now. Did you did you hear the news today that they found a box full of ballots in someone's car at a Seven yeah. Eleven? What kind yeah. of ballots? Mail-in ballots. For there was a box election? full of mail -in ballots. Yeah, mail-in ballots were found for this election. It was found in someone's car, and the guy got caught. So he had narcotics and guns or something in his car, and there's a whole box. It's in the news today. What's he doing box, with them? How did he get nobody, them? Nobody knows yet. It happened in somewhere in L.A. Were they blank yeah. or completed? Completed. Blank. Oh, they were blank? I heard I they, were, they blank. were blank. Oh, I don't and know. I, I it'll they... be interesting to see if this is actually true. Okay, yeah. somebody sent a link to that. Was, I heard it in the news yesterday. 
I don't know why you had to drag the, the good name of 7-Eleven into it, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so if somebody finds a link, please put it in the chat, but I'm going to continue with the game because we are going to move along. We're making like a baby and heading out. God. Oh, he went upstairs so, and got a picture of his books. So the second and third shelves are Just all, and the fourth shelves are all different Bible wow. shelves. The top shelf, the first half is non-canonical semi-biblical works, Apocrypha, Pseudogrypha, etc. And then, of course, you've got to have the works of Josephus. Must. Same Jewish historian who somehow yeah. never mentioned the zombies walking around. Carl, oh, you know things about the, the Gospels of Thomas and, and all of those? Yes. yes. The Nag Hammadi Library is right there. Mm-hmm. I am really impressed. See, but there right is there no is a dust for that bookshelf. Gospel of Thomas right there. I I'm, a, I'm amazed you didn't do this category. <laughs> name the books on his shelf. Well, he could do, he could just do the initials and we have to come up with the names of the Bible, of the Bibles. That would be interesting. He listed them off in our uh, group. Oh, he did. Okay. Gail. I can tell you the origins of every single translation that Rob used. I'm just, I'm impressed that there's no dust on it. Including that, which but... Greek text they use as their basis. And Jim <laughs> just gave us a link. To look at when we get done. Okay. Why would they it. use Greek texts? Thanks, Jim. For the, for the New Old Testament. Testament. <laughs> for the New Testament. Okay. So are we ready? Pretty much. Yeah, they I'm all ready. use the same text for the Old Testament for the most part. Uh, to, quote, to quote some famous British com- com- comedians, now for something completely different. Yay! Monty Python. Please be a best <laughs> category of Monty Python. No, Please. I'm just quoting them. Oh, uh, we're going to, in fact, even different from that because our topic is current sleep research findings. We're going to talk about sleep. People have told me that they um, have enjoyed categories where they learn things. All of the questions are true, false, or, uh, or multiple choice, except for one, which you're probably all going to get right, I hope. Um, but I started yeah. out my life in, as a college uh, senior in 1969, thinking I wanted to be a sleep researcher. I'm actually a psychologist. I've talked about law. I haven't talked about that before. And uh, I thought I was, that was what I was going to do. And I had a student internship working in a sleep lab and discovered, because I like to sleep, that <laughs> researchers don't sleep. They stay up all night watching other people sleep. Oh. So I changed the field afterwards and ended up not doing sleep research. But I tried to keep up with it over time. So I did a lot of research to find out what's going on now. Um, The references for all of the material I'm going to give you, I will give you at the very end. So I have all the references so you can look up and find out more about all this stuff if it interests you. Okay, so are we ready? All right, muting everybody in three, two, one. Unmute me. Okay, here is the first question. I love learning all these little things about you guys. Just letting you know, I find it so interesting. Which of the which of the following is a current recommendation for the number of hours sleep per night based on age, according to the National Sleep Foundation, which is a highly reputable source, by the way. Um. A, school-age children, 9 to 11 hours, teenagers, 8 to 10 hours, 79 hours for adults, and 78 hours for adults over 65. Or B, age is only an issue for babies and young children that need more sleep than adults. All adults need about 8 hours each night. Or C, there are no universal guidelines since the amount of sleep any particular person needs is based on their own genetics, lifestyle, and health. Okay. Question two, sleep is not a unitary experience. Over time, let me copy copy this. Over, Over time, the names and number of stages of sleep have changed as science has learned more. Today, most scientists think of sleep as having four stages, but usually the distinction is made between REM and NREM sleep. What are the letters REM and NREM stand for? 
that's the only question that requires you to come up with an answer. Question three, which of the following is not something that the National Sleep Sleep Foundation recommends to improve your sleep, particularly if you suffer from insomnia. A, go to sleep and wake up at the same time every day, including weekends. B, turn off electronic devices an hour before trying to sleep. C, exercise regularly. A low impact fitness program like walking, swimming, or yoga is helpful in improving sleep. Or D, keep your bedroom warm enough. If the temperature falls below about 70 degrees, the chilling effects will disrupt the relaxation needed to fall asleep. And as I put that into the chat, let me point out to you that most of the multiple choice questions are not asking which one is true. They're asking which one is not true. Which of the following is not a factor for developing insomnia. A, major life changes like job loss, divorce, illness, or death of a loved one. B, changes in sleep patterns and health with increasing age. C, males are more likely to develop insomnia since estrogen provides some protection and because the menstrual cycle helps regulate the circadian rhythm of the body. Or D, excessive use of alcohol. Okay. Question five. Um, we're, no, I'm stuck. What are we up to? Five, yes. Question five. Which of the following is true about dream content? Researchers have found that today people over age 65 report black and white dreaming about 25% of the time, while those under 25 rarely report dreaming in black and white. Researchers believe this may be a result of color TV, since the study done in 1940 reported that rarely people dream in color. B, when sleep researchers ask men and women to report about their dreams, they find that men's dreams have more aggressive content and physical activity, while women report more conversations and more rejection. C, men dream about twice as much about other men than about women, while women dream about both sexes equally. D, lucid dreaming happens when you know during your dream that you are dreaming. There's scientific disagreement about whether you can or should change the story when this occurs. And E, all of these are true. Hello, Romero. Hi, Faith. They look like and they're in a locker room, locker. Yes. We and just had like an amazing dinner. It's our anniversary today. So. Oh, happy anniversary. <laughs> Thank you. You're staying, as right? I, as I put that uh, up. You're staying, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Go ahead, Gail. As I put this up, let me point out that that is usually the case with sleep research. Remember, we can never see dreams directly. So people who are awake and then ask to report their dreams is usually the source of dream content information. Oh. Six, at this moment in time, scientists have a variety of theories about the function of dreams, but there is no agreement about them. Which of the following is an actual theory? A, the psychoanalytic belief that it is the time when the unconscious mind is set free of constraints and dream analysis can help a therapist understand the patient. Some current researchers believe that dreams function to organize memories. C, there is a current group of psychologists who say they have no function at all. They are just random brainwaves firing and the person organizes these random firings to make stories or D, all of these are true. Okay, question seven, is it true and false? True or false? It takes you, if it takes you less than five minutes to fall asleep at night, you're probably sleep deprived. Ideally, falling asleep should take 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, question eight. 
Which of the following is not true? Going without sleep is likely to make you hungry as levels of leptin and appetite reducing re regulating hormone fall. B, when daylight saving time begins, statistics show that the number of traffic accidents increases. Since the opposite happens when daylight saving time ends, this is evidence that adding or subtracting one hour of sleep does make a difference. C, strenuous exercise just before bed is helpful in making you tired so that you will fall asleep more easily. And D, whales and dolphins fall half asleep. Each side of their brain takes turns sleeping while the other side stays awake so that they can come up for air. Number nine, which of the following is not true? On the average, people can survive for two weeks without water, but only for about 10 days without sleep. Staying awake for 16 hours straight has the same impact on your performance as a blood alcohol level of 0.0500%. That's almost as much as the legal limit for DUI. C, sleep apnea can be a serious disorder with sufferers more often unaware that they have a problem. Or D, snoring is basically a problem for men since about 75% of men snore regularly. Although some women snore habitually, it is relatively rare with only about 5% of women being affected. And finally, number 10, again, which of the following is not true? Your body burns more calories when you sleep than when you watch television. B, turkey meat contains large quantities of the amino acid tryptophan, which makes you sleepy. That's why so many people crave a nap after Thanksgiving dinner. C, sleep researchers used to believe that dreaming only happens during REM sleep, but dream restrictions from experiments Experimental subjects awaken during REM and non-REM sleep have shown that dreams happen all during sleep. However, REM dreams are more vivid and intense than non-REM dreams. Or D, in the first days when daylight saving time begins, statistics shows the number of traffic accidents increases. The opposite happens when daylight saving time ends. And I think I made a mistake that helped you. So having said that, um, any questions before we? You can figure out a lot of these, I hope. I think we'll need more time because just reading them is going to take a lot of time. OK, that's yeah, fine. That, well, that's why we went through them all together. We'll, People we'll, complain we'll about how long minor are. I think Gail just has the new championship. <laughs> I thought it was important to explain these answers. So. Well, I think they're interesting. So this is a category definitely we've never done before. So this is this, good. This is like a test for a class that I didn't take. <laughs> well, we're going to reason them out. <laughs> but this a is real about your life. A real I reason. think we will need, need more time. Yeah. Just okay, that's fine. comment that okay. that if it had been up as you were reading them, we could have read them at the same time, but I found I was always trying to go back to read while you were reading the next one. Yes. So that's same why thing. I think it will take more time <laughs> to yes. I totally read. agree with Janine. Okay, well, we'll give you as much time as you need. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Gail. And Faith and Romero is having a anniversary party in a, in a, on a phone. Look at she's got makeup on. Look at yeah, we're driving home right now. Oh, is that right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, is that I'm why the they're on the, That's why they're yeah. on the, But I'm going to put you on a team so you can answer sleep questions, okay? Yeah, you, you sleep <laughs> while you're driving. No sleeping while you're driving, but I will put you on sleep a team. And for heaven's sake, put some clothes on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> I'm wearing uh, my fancy dress. I uh, haven't been able to wear it for years. Oh, she's got a fancy dress. Oh, I do need one thing before we all go on missing members, not penises. For some reason or other, I, I, I messed up your score. I erased it. So what was your score in the last round? I got zero, zero, zero. That was five. That was five. 
Okay, and then the other teams, the FDA approved team, you had 10? Yes. Oh, which one? Uh, the For last the Bible, or the Bible verse? Yeah, we got 10. We got and 10. It's turtles all the way down, you had 10. Yep. Okay. Faith, which anniversary is this? Faith? Faith. 11, isn't it? It's it's nine. It's our ninth. And Rob <laughs> wore a hat for you, Faith. Yeah, I couldn't believe you're here. In celebration of your anniversary, I had a hat. <laughs> see, it says Faith. <laughs> I want to see how pretty she looks in her fancy dress. Okay, I'll so show you when we get back. We okay, let's like go to our rooms. <laughs> I threw away my Romero hat when you didn't show up. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. Okay, this is missing members. They're going to this one, which is the room I'm going to, actually. Okay, we're going to. Where are you? Oh, it's Susan. Um, so Susan, I was just telling them I'm gonna leave. So I'm just gonna tell you guys things I had thoughts on and then you can discuss. Um, number one I thought was A. I remember hearing that nine to eleven hour recommendation. I just don't know if it's coming from the national. I think it's A also. Yeah, me too. Um, number yep. two is rapid eye movement. I assume the N would be non-rapid eye movement, but I, I do know it's rapid eye movement. Yep. Yeah, uh, that's true. Number three, I'm pretty sure is D because I'm pretty sure you should sleep in a colder room. Yep. yep. Um, D, and yes. then I'm not sure about any of the others, but eight, I think is C. Mm -hmm. That's what I wrote down. Nine, I think is D. I said D I or A. I wasn't sure. Okay. And I am going to go to sleep. So have a lovely evening. Oh, everybody. she's going to sleep. Don't spend more than five minutes. You might be sleep deprived. I mean, I am sleep deprived, um, but that's another story. <laughs> bye bye okay we have faith Hi, kelly thank you we don't know exactly what we're doing look at how pretty she looks oh, <laughs> thank you we, on and like five, we had dinner at a five diamond restaurant so the closest to a michelin as possible oh. it was like an eight course amazing meal so nice very good yeah so how are you on sleep <laughs> Uh, we're, I'm, we're probably going to be up because they gave me coffee about an hour ago. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. So, boy, so currently, I think she, I think she was right. Mine is A. Okay. No, question one. Oh, well, I think, okay. Go ahead. I think I, I agree. It's A. Yeah. You yeah. think it's not A? Okay. Yeah, a All looks right. fine. Okay. So question two. Rapid uh, eye movement. movement. Okay, yeah. we're ready to that one. Not non-rapid eye movement. Okay, question three. We'll we'll get to you, Faith. Where if we get to something you, we don't. Okay. I, I also agreed uh, D for number three. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It should be it's cool. actually the opposite. You, it's easier to go to sleep when it's cooler. Yeah. Yes, that's true. <clears throat> or I think C is the one that's not true in this group. I agree. Or we had to pick which yes. is not true. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I think that's it, what I think is not true. Yeah, me too. Yes, I, I agree. Four, I think C is not true. Yeah. I, Exercising regularly, a low impact fitness program like walking, swimming, yoga is helpful for improving sleep. You don't think that's for improving sleep? That's, I think. No, that's that is true. true. That is true. No, so we're looking I, for the it, one that's not. You know, most of the questions they're asking what are your for the one that's not true. Number four is it's either major life changes like job loss. This is what's not a risk factor for developing <laughs> insomnia. Wait, wait, aren't we on three? We're on four. We, we did four. three. Three is D. Okay. Is D. So four, which of the following is not a risk factor for developing insomnia? C. What's D? Yeah. Changes in sleep patterns and health with increasing age. So it's, it's C. That is it's a not, risk factor. C is not a risk factor. Right. Major life changes is a risk factor. I hate these where you have to figure out, wait, so we want so the we, one that is incorrect. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's C. Getting C's older incorrect. is not a risk factor for insomnia. Isn't it? It's Males not. are more, because, more likely to develop yeah. insomnia. I don't think that's true at all. I'm I think lost. females are more likely to develop insomnia. Okay, uh, I'm going to five. <laughs> yeah. Because I don't know where we are. Which of the following is true about dream content? So A is, do you guys all know this one already? Okay. I, I put I down D. 
I, I put think, down all. Yeah, I think I it's E. All. I'm sorry, I think I it's down. all of the above. Yeah. yeah. I think okay, it's okay. all too. All right, good. Sure. Then we're going to need a lot more time. Well, we're, 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 we're very efficient here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay, that's five. Okay, so, so five, six, six doesn't have a number, but it's the next one. There. At this moment in time, scientists have a variety of theories about the function of dreams, but there is no agreement about them. Which of the following is an actual theory? Is. So this one is an actual theory. Right. So the psycho, okay. psycho psychoanalytic belief that it is that is that it is the time when the unconscious mind is set free of constraints and dream analysis can help a therapy therapist understand the patient yeah, that's that's an actual theory i don't think it's true but it is an actual theory is there an option of something of your brain being able to like resort the day's events uh, um sort of okay. like that. b yeah. is some current researchers believe that dreams function to organize memories that's that's it yes that's, that's not true. That heard. no that is the true one okay no i think they're all true yeah, i do okay too. okay yeah. so c there is a current group of psychologists who say that they have no function at all they're just random brain waves firing and the person organizes these random firings to make stories yep right that's and then d is all real I, okay I so d that's why I think it's yeah. D. They're all. Yeah. Okay. Somebody read number seven. So I'm not reading them all, but go ahead. True or false. If it takes you less than five minutes to fall asleep <laughs> at night, you're probably sleep deprived. Ideally falling asleep should take 10 to 15 minutes. 15 minutes. That didn't make sense because it says if you take more than five minutes, then you're sleep deprived. But then the rest of the question says you, you're supposed to take, take 10 to 15, 10 to 15. I, I, I don't fall into fall. either one of those. So I'm sleep deprived. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's false. I think it's false. I think the longer it takes you to fall asleep, is the more sleep deprived you are. Yeah, because you can get all wound up yeah. if you're tired. Well, well the, the I'm theory very sleep would be I fall asleep quickly. If you fall asleep really fast, you're likely to wake soon. Yeah. You might not stay asleep. Yeah. I don't know. Really? Hmm. See, I thought that one was true. I, no, actually, I think that might be true because people with sleep apnea tend to have. Solomon's really quickly where they fall asleep at low points of brain stimulation. So if you're easy to fall asleep, then I think that would make sense that you're sleep deprived, that you haven't gotten enough rest. Hmm. I don't know. I fall asleep easily, I think, but I don't, you do. I don't you keep fall, track. You fall asleep yeah, instantly. Gen generally, <laughs> better, better I've stayed in getting... hotel rooms with Susan. I swear but to God, if you, just, but out like, like if you're a sitting light. and watching TV or you're driving or you're doing some activity that's not really mentally engaging and you fall asleep that's an indication that you probably have sleep apnea or you've you've had you have some condition that's preventing you from act from actively going through the REM cycle at night hmm. that's just really weird to have deborah say <laughs> Listen, i know i've slept with susan many times yes <laughs> she sleeps like a log She's out like a log and she's out for hours. I swear to God, she just knocks out like right I away. knock out and, and Sterling is exactly the same way. And we'll, we share a hotel room together, Sterling and I, and it's like, you, you wake up. I, I swear we have moved. <laughs> <We're> like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the other thing. <laughs> I sleep like I the dead. Either way on that one, true or false. I don't know. I, 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 I think it's false. Because it doesn't, the question is worded weird too. It doesn't make any sense. How could it, how could, ideally, it, just, it says you I should be falling asleep within 10 to 5, 15 minutes. But then it says, if you take more than less than five minutes, wait, 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 take it less than five. Oh, wait, wait, I see the wording. Okay, I understand what you're saying now. I mean, it's really two, it's kind minutes. of two different things. It, it says, um, if, if okay, you take less than five minutes, you're sleep deprived and ideally it should be 10 to 15. It's okay. So you think that's so, true? So okay. That's so that's are we going to say true for that now? I don't really care. I, I, can... I would say true. Okay. I vote true. All right. True. True it is. Okay. True it is. I just don't know. I have no idea how long it takes me to fall asleep. Okay. So, but I usually sleep most of the night. So. Which of the um, following is not true? Somebody read that uh, one. C is the one. Oh, you guys are now. I think it's C too. 
Yeah. Which one is this one? Because we can't see the questions. Oh, uh, which is not true. Going without sleep is likely to make you hungry, blah, blah, blah. When daylight savings time begins, there's a whole thing about that, about people having more accidents and saying uh, that stuff, which is also part of a different question. <laughs> um, strenuous exercise just before bed is helpful in making you tired so that you will fall asleep more easily. And whales and dolphins fall half asleep. I think I've heard this before. So are um, they asking which one is false? Yeah. Yes. I think strenuous exercise will not help you go to sleep. Right. Yeah. yeah I, I Again, that. I think it's the opposite. It it gets you going, so it it's does. harder to fall asleep. Right. It it does because you're giving yourself an endorphin high, and I've had doctors tell me not to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I just grabbed. Uh, we've had two questions coming out of the missing nine one one group, and of course, I I have no contact with Gail, so I just grabbed her out of whatever group she was in, whatever she was saying, and just threw her into the other group. So. <laughs> they'll all She's like, that Whoosh! <laughs> She's all that yeah that's that how i'm going to deal with these people who ask questions in the future i think that's hilarious all right so which of the following is not true on the average people can survive for two weeks without water but only for about 10 days without sleep i didn't know people could slide that survive. one is not true but i don't think people can survive that long without water you cannot you can't survive i think 10 days, three to five days without water no it's more like three or four yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Ten days without sleep. No. Yeah, you can't do that. Okay. I think so the maximum is mm -hmm. three to four. So which one is so not four. true? Well, that one. Yeah. That one. Well, what about D? Well, D, yeah, I, I put like down too. What's D? Snoring is basically a problem for men. I don't. I don't know if I believe that's true. Since I think that is mostly true. Oh, some women's. It's saying women snore five percent of the time and men snore seventy five percent of the time. My grandmother used to snore a hundred percent. Who's your time. grandmother? <laughs> Granny. Yes. Oh, there's, there's someone in our uh, in our trivia group that snores too, but I'm not going to name who it is. It's a male. Someone you've no, slept with before, Deborah. <laughs> What's that? Someone you've slept with. Either. Someone no, you've person. slept with. Another no, person in Trevor. Someone I've shared a room with. Someone here in our in our. We've room. had Deborah and I shared a a, yeah. a bed. Oh, yeah. I know who she's talking Ooh. about. Yeah, you do too. Bed but don't say. Yeah, I know who. <laughs> well, Deborah. So when we when we travel, there would be three of us, and we'd get one room with two beds because you can't get three beds in most rooms. So I know. Yeah. <laughs> so Deborah and I have had to share a bed before because we both don't move much. I guess. That's right. That's one. That is correct. So we think A for sure, you think, mm -hmm. is not true. And we're D sounds not true too, but. Yeah, I, I don't A like that one. Not true. You but. can survive much longer without food than you can with water or sleep. I think like it's no more than a week yeah. before you start to go insane because I think it you can survive the... longer without food and water than you can without sleep. And it depends on the temperature. I mean, some people die after a few hours without water. So, well, it's a, yes, yes, but I think typically, well, like you're worried, if average. you don't get if you don't get sleep, it's it's much worse than. That's how they got Manuel Noriega. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So is it A or D? Bottom I line, a. I think A. Because D is possible. Which, which one is D? D is the, the women snore five percent of the time and men snore seventy five percent of the time. That's D. I and think that would probably be true. I think it's probably men do snore more often than women, but I don't think it's that high of a rate. Just to be clear for you, Faith, it isn't it, the the answer is actually seventy five percent of men snore regularly. Some women snore habitually. It is relatively rare with only about 5% of women. So it's not like 5% of the time, it's 5% of women do it. I think that's true. Cause like, I don't snore, but he does. And I have to snore. And 100% of men snore. Oh, yeah, I have better, to push no you fighting. and you're like, stop waking me up. And I'm like, I'd like to go to sleep. Could you please stop snoring? You snore too. Come on, it's your anniversary. Snore. Nice. No fighting. You just had a it's wonderful okay. meal. We've been married almost. We've got another year for ten years. This is this is perfectly normal. It'll be the big snoring fight now. Yeah, the big <laughs> snore broke him up before the ten. <laughs> the trivia. <laughs> yeah, trivia. Okay, question ten. 
Which I hate these. Which of the following is not true? So everything here is true except for. Are one. we taking A or D for for A. nine? Uh, a. A. A nine. I mm -hmm. think so. Okay. Question ten. Which of the following is not true? A. Your body burns more calories when you sleep than when you watch television. Is that true? Yes. Yes. Because you, you burn you burn all you burn excess calories through respiration. Okay. So question. Uh, so. Number B, turkey meat contains large quantities of the amino acid. Just, just go in, go in. Try, try, uh, tryptophan. Tryptophan, which makes you sleepy. That is that why is, so many people crave a nap after Thanksgiving dinner. I think that's that false. Is, that is false. That's an that's old wives' myth. tale. Right. Yeah, that's a myth. You take a nap a myth, because you yes. just eat a big, huge meal. <laughs> exactly. Okay, so just be sure. C, sleep research, research, researchers used to believe that dreaming only happens during REM sleep, but dream descriptions from experimental subjects awaken during REM. Okay, so that's true, right? That's true. D, the first, in the first days when daylight saving times begins, statistics show that the number of traffic accidents increases and the opposite happens. That's true. Okay. So, so it is turkey. So it's turkey. Oh, we kicked ass. We just sat and talked most of the time. We were done with this early. Talking about who sleeps with who and who's going. <laughs> <laughs> we were gossipy today. I got to go back and look at the main room, see who else is out there that I've slept with. <laughs> Deborah <Jeffrey> slept with. <laughs> you skeptics are a wild bunch. Yeah, I was skeptics. Well, you, when you come to one of the conferences and then you, you just have somebody's room and everybody hangs out and who knows who's in there? Jim's been there. Jim and his wife are both in my room, huh? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jim and his wife both took a limo with me. Right back. Oh yeah, the limo. We were in a limo. Ooh, what did you that go was was that for the bacon party or something? No, it was the limo picked me up. I was a speaker, so mm. uh, I was walking mm. out, and they they picked me up, and here's the limo, and I'm like, well, we could fit a lot of people in there, and I saw Jim. And we, I'm like, get in the car. We <laughs> happened to be there, there at the right time. We're going to there. He just happened to be nearby. So I'm like, get in the car. Because yep. when they picked me up from the airport, it was a Lincoln. And it was only like for four people. And I had Sterling and I had Mark. So, and the driver. So there was only four of us that could fit in the car. But when they picked me up to take me to the airport to return, it was a big old thing. Gail's here. That was hey. a lot easier than we thought. Well, I don't know. It, you it could have done fast. Yeah, uh, I think that the other teams I've, I've looked at have one or two questions left or they're finished. So maybe how much time, give them another minute or two. That's up to you. You would know better. I, I apologize for ripping you from one group to the other. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Because they had Is a question. funny? <laughs> Were you like I had in the a middle question of a... that I answered and I'll tell you the answer because I did not tell you. I told the other groups. The answer I gave them is to the topic is sleep. So any information there that's not about sleep, you can assume is correct. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I kept getting these messages saying somebody, you know, wanting me to come and answer a question. I, I, I don't because know. Because they were worried about a fact in there that had nothing to do with sleep okay. in one uh, of the answers. I'm going to let everybody that. know. Even though you don't like it, it's correct. At least according to the source I was using. Okay. All right, we're done. So, well, why don't we give them? Can, can, can is there such a thing as two minutes, or does it have to be one? Let's go back to the main room, and then we'll. So wait, wait. Which? Uh, what did we pick for number nine? A. A. Yes. Yeah, see now, <clears throat> now that Gail has made it clear that the the first part of A, on average, people can survive for two weeks without water, is is a given because that has nothing to do with sleep. Mm. So I think I, I now think it's more likely that the, that the correct answer to nine is D. I've always liked D better. Okay. I had D as my That's second a good point, choice, Jim. actually. Okay. I'm fine with that. Cool. Okay. Well done, Jim. <laughs> Unless, of course, we're wrong. Unless, unless I'm be, wrong. <laughs> and then it'll be like, Jim! Jim! Yeah. Yeah. Don't pillory you. Jim! Yeah. <laughs> silly man. Okay, sounds good. All right, so let's go back to our room. Okay. Well. Whose CD 
CTD admin entered the waiting room. Mm -hmm. Oh, let's go look and find out. Okay, I'm gonna leave the room. Okay. Hey, we're back, Susan. Who is CTD admin? That's, me. That's, That's you? Me. It, it's, yeah. his, it's his nonprofit called Code the Dream. I want to see what Faith looks like. This is my little dress. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, oh look at me. Pockets. It's and your pocket. makeup and your hair. Look at you. Thank you. <laughs> How oh, pretty. Look oh, oh, yeah. Wow. Let's look at, at Romero, too. Now. Yeah, we went, <laughs> it, we went to the restaurant at Saxe's campus. Actually, a very pretty blue. It's a beautiful blue. You. Did you have a tie on earlier? No. No? no. <laughs> it wasn't that fancy. <laughs> How oh, pretty, Faith. I want you to dress like this every week. Ah. <laughs> I'm going to trivia. I have to dress up. We're gonna. We're, we should have a formal event. We should all wear gowns and. Oh yeah. Uh, yes. Tuxedo. I like. I like an excuse to dress up. We had. Um, so do you know the SAS Jim Goodnight's company? They have. Um, it's like one of the big employers here, and they have a five star diamond restaurant. It's the closest to a Michelin that you can get to, in North Carolina. And they had a eight course art tasting menu that oh was, um, yes, we had an eight course meal that started at eight o'clock and we got done by the time we locked on with y'all. Yeah, well, we had, dogs. yes, we had quail corn dogs. Ew. It was actually really good. We had this salmon thing with um, cantaloupe on the top that was shaved and that had farro or something underneath it. it yes. How busy was it? um not that busy they had us separated by tables well it is a thursday too mm -hmm. but this was this is this isn't a meal you go to because you just decide to have dinner out it it no <laughs> this was this is not a cheap meal we can probably call them back in a minute yeah or for the immensely wealthy because i think they're starting to come back not immensely wealthy but if you if you want to have a nice fun fancy experience you should go <laughs> And yeah, I don't want to eat quail or or fish. Stuffed quail over some type of um, breading with um, like gelatin that was made with like plum, uh, tamari, something else. Sounds so, absolutely delightful. I would have loved all. It of was it. amazing. They had oh, um, a cart. What was it? Uh, what was it called? Freeze dried carbon. What is it? I can't remember. I've had yeah. a lot of wine. <laughs> Not like when yeah. nitrogen. It was um, carbon hey, dioxide, this? frozen carbon dioxide. What's it? Called? Dry ice. Dry ice. Dry ice. You eat dry ice. Who, yeah. who is this guy sitting next to you? I don't recognize him. <laughs> it's, who paid, it's who paid for my wine tonight. <laughs> <laughs> it's their anniversary. Isn't that sweet? Yeah. Well, they're joining us after their anniversary. That's really Rob sweet. Is wearing, uh, yeah. Wow, what the and hell Rob is that? Is wearing, she has us still connected. Faith, you always look pretty tonight. You look especially lovely. It must be the, the love it from the anniversary. You oh, look and the wine. I, oh, there's Faith. I had trouble seeing you. Oh, I, I like your dress. And her hair and makeup. She's so pretty. You should show the dress to everyone now that, that almost everyone's back. Yeah. Yeah, Faye. Show us. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Isn't that pretty? Yes, it has pockets. This is the most important part. It has pockets. People don't understand wow. how important that is. To no, you do not understand like dresses with so pockets. important. Dresses don't have pockets. Well, don't this one, have this have one pockets. has pockets. I've never lived without them. Mm -hmm. That's, That's why I sewed. Stop showing me off. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and Romero looks nice too. Yes, yes he does. Romero dressed up. He has see. very pretty blue, beautiful blue. I like the blue. That Carl, you, you need to go get your Romero hat again. <laughs> and we had foie gras macaroons. Look at that was wow. with blueberry. Wow. Oh man. Very sweet. Okay, so here we go. Ready for answers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. 
Um, the answer to the first question, I'm not going to read them all again. You all know what they are now, right? Yeah, we yep. memorized them. The answer, and I will post the answers as I'm saying them. The answer to the first question is A. Oh. Oh. Rob, you win. <laughs> Yay. Thank so goodness for democracy. And the answer to be, everyone I heard got it. Um, the answer to be is rapid eye movement and non-rapid eye movement. You mean to two? I'm sorry, to two. <laughs> but that's two answers. Well, can we just get uh, one of these? Uh, yeah. Oh, rapid eye good. movement is, if you didn't get the N, I said it later on. It's part of the we, other we heard you. Heard right? you. We know, we heard you. Yeah, we okay. just, I, oh, Robin, look, a Robin, the point is, did you understand it was rapid eye movement? And rapid eye movement comes from uh, the belief that way back in the early research, back in the 1960s, they could watch the eyes moving and it corresponded to the dreams people reported when they were awakened from rapid eye movement, and they were less likely during non-REM to report eye movement. So, so do they call dreaming. it rapid I'm paw sorry. movement for dogs? I'm sorry? <laughs> they call it I rapid mean, paw movement when dogs are chasing bunnies in their sleep? Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah, yeah, we, we like don't, it's, hard to, it's hard enough to know what people are, are, <laughs> are dreaming. We don't know what animals are dreaming. Well, you have to ask the psychic. They know. Yeah. That's like it. That's like it. Okay. Question three the correct answer is D. And all the teams yes. I saw seem to get it right. In fact, it's the opposite. Um, a cooler room works, works better for get working with insomnia. And there was some conversation in at least one group that I heard about wearing socks. Ooh. And in fact, the sleep researchers say that that's one of the reasons that people who are having trouble sleeping often stick their feet out from under the covers mm -hmm. because uh, they're trying to get cooler. Mm -hmm. um, they're too cold wearing socks does help. So the you, a sleep temperature, a room temperature in the in the sixties like is considered to be it's better. Like it's too cold even when it's warm for sleep. And so, for yeah. question four, the answer is C. Hey. What is it? Mm -hmm. Sorry. The answer is C. Okay. Oh, yay. Males Ooh. are not more likely, and they, that whole thing, I made that whole thing up. <laughs> the estrogen. And that, there is no, that, that's totally made up. The others are real things. And so, there's so, no so, so, difference. In so, in fact, there's some indication that that's the opposite. Did you do that on purpose? Um, I tried to make it as false as I could, so yeah. yeah. yeah <laughs> I, I, I was watching in the Skeptics in the Pub, uh, a, a, an Alzheimer's researcher present on the subject of why women suffer Alzheimer's disease at a far greater rate than men. And the disruption of their sleep cycle because of estro estrogen changes is one of the leading theories. Right. Interesting. Oh, interesting. I'm taking an estrogen blocker. Yay! I probably won't have <laughs> Alzheimer's. <laughs> and the next question is the one I think gave people the most trouble and the answer is E. They are all true. Yay. Yep. Yay. And I did hear in, a, in a, mm. at least two teams where you were discussing uh, about lucid dreaming. Remember, the problem is that lucid dreaming is very controversial. And I listened to the skeptic, uh, Skeptics Guide also, and they seem to be taking it as a given. And it may or may not be because remember, lucid dreaming is based on reports. And you cannot take the skeptics' guide as gospel. The reports are, <laughs> Wait. Are, are real. Wait, the skeptics' guide isn't gospel? Yeah. You bet it isn't. You're, you're shattering <laughs> all my illusions. So Matthew, that, Mark, that, Luke, and, and John are the gospel. What, Aaron? Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John are the gospels. Everything else is just. <laughs> <laughs> but then, again, the then canonical again. gospels that Big Bible wants you to believe in. None of the <laughs> skeptical pun, none of the skeptical podcasts would say they're gospel. It's they could say yeah. skeptical. Yeah. Which is a which is a very good thing. Hey, Kyle's the one that's got big Bible. He's buying all the Bibles up. Putting them by his bed. You're, you're flipping Carl and Kyle again. Did I? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Go, Go back, back and listen Kyle's, to it later. Kyle yeah. might actually have them too. <laughs> uh, not to the same collection, but I've got one for reference. All in both <laughs> no, Kyle keeps Bigfoot and missing 411 books. That's right. He's got the 411 Bigfoot Bible. 
Did I miss Carl and Kyle again? How weird. Okay. All right. Number six. Okay, so question six. All of them are true. Yay. Which Thank is you. Letter D. Quick, quick question Sorry. about numbers yeah. about six A. Yeah. That I mean, I I I know that that is a true belief, but is there any actual you know evidence or scientific basis that? that it, it is in fact real, that dream yeah. analysis can help? No, uh, except, except anecdotally, because right. remember, there are two important things involved here. One is the only access we have to dream contact is what the person says that the dream was about. Right. And most dreams fade very, very quickly. Right. I think, I think and that there, it's and, a lot of and the memories are going to be distorted of real events that we remember. Memories of dreams are probably seriously distorted. Oh, yeah. Um, the, only, was... the only confirmation they have is if the eye movements seem to follow the dream. <clears throat> but, and, yeah. and Freud did no research. We mm -hmm. think of him as a scientist. He gave us four <laughs> case studies. That's the I've only evidence he provided for his well. research. That's and the people that the people that give any weight to the analyzing dreams aren't that the dreams themselves have some magic insight, but in the storytelling and the interpretation reveals about the person. <sighs> right. You know, well, there are lots of people that think the dreams are magic, but well, I think that wrong. the uh, yeah, I, I think that the if there's anything good that comes out of it for psychoanalysis, it's the skill of the uh, uh, Therapist. Of the analyst. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Think yeah. It's yeah. Like and it's got less to do with the dreams than what people say they were. Yeah, yeah. I think it's talking. It's, it's, said. it's like a psychic reading, kind of just you're just talking about it and they're making general <laughs> statements. The damn good reading. cold reading. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like cold reading. Yeah. And they don't usually know that they're doing it. Right. And in fact, um, the one that I would think would be most controversial and is in science right now is the idea that the dreams have no meaning at all. But you see, it's, it, this, is, this is research that is so hard to do anything with. Because again, you're taking people's reports of something that you can't ever see directly. Well, you could always count on someone's memory. <laughs> I remember hearing that. Wait, memory is- I remember that. You remember me saying that before, right, Carl? Yeah. Uh, yeah, remember here's that. a funny story about memory that just happened in the break. Uh, I was talking to Greg and I was telling him I went on a walk and it was 4.21 kilometers. But I thought, uh, and a, a sentence later, I said, yeah, I went 4.7 kilometers. And he went, you said 4.2. I said, no, I didn't. I said 4.7. And I looked at my watch, it was 4.2. And that was a minute later. So oh, wow. <laughs> memory can be really, memory really bad. Very, we know that you're not very good with numbers. <laughs> oh, no. Especially in three. Well, two and seven. Wait, wait. Are, are you telling me I can't count on Adrian? No. You can count on her. But don't count with her. No, don't count with me. So, <laughs> you, so may, you, may think, you may think her number, her counting isn't that good, but she certainly knew when she hit 500,000 views. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> she was following and, that. And the numbers two and seven were sometimes <laughs> like old clocks as the same number. They would flip yeah. it over. There you go. So the joke <laughs> is, why they said is about counting on Adrian is that her segment for Richard Saunders' The Skeptic Zone is called, You Can Count, you can on, count Adrian. on Adrian with Adrian Hill. Yeah, and and I'm a segment. math teacher, but I always joked with my students that I could never do addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. They had to watch me like a hawk, but I'm really good at algebra and, you know, stuff like that. But for, forget adding and subtracting, multiplying and dividing. So. And that's what calculators are for. Exactly. So, so that's, the, a, that's a thing because my son and I are that way too. So okay. we're uh, just, just for scoring purposes, the answer to number six was D for With dog. D, all D of the dog. Yeah. Right. Okay. Okay. Seven is true. Oh. Right. Oh. oh wow. That's, That's what I tried nice. to tell my team. <laughs> Ten killer. Said. What? I got outvoted on that one. No, we got the wait. We got it wrong. <laughs> yeah, we got it wrong. We got it right. I don't even remember this question. <laughs> I do this all the time. I drive to New York, and I drive back from New York, and I'm tired. Your body is just fall asleep in two sleep. minutes. You know what I did not put in because I thought it was too obscure, and maybe in this group it isn't too obscure. 
is there actually is a genetic disease that's been passed among one Italian family. It affects the hypothalamus in the brain. That? And over their lifetime, Ooh. they become increasingly insomniac until finally they cannot sleep at all. And all of them, it's a fatal disease. I, I oh, read about no, this. Like I heard horrible. about that. There's a sister and brother that are that are on a crusade to try to get a cure or something, but they're terrified of falling asleep because if they fall asleep, they may not. What was it? Yeah, they can't fall. They, the problem is they can't fall asleep. Right, but they're afraid that today will be the day that they will have that problem. Yeah, I, I read about this somewhere. Was it? Oh yeah, the, the insomnia. Yeah, the insomnia comes partly from the stress because if they've got that possibility of that gene. You're in bad shape because it's not curable yet. And then they say that they'll die really quickly. And there's yeah, something about why you can't, can't live without sleep. I know, you but know. wasn't there some reason why they can't be induced? Uh -oh. Yeah, because of the brain. The brain is it's a it's an it's attacking a part of the brain in the hypothalamus, and it, therefore they can't sleep. So I mean, even so with they the can drug, be rendered unconscious, but that's different than sleeping. That's right. They, and sleep, the function of sleep, we now know it has a restorative function. You know, dreaming is vague, but the actual sleeping is not. We know, for example, that part of what happens is the brain uses sleep time to literally repair itself. It goes into an entirely different state where there's more fluid and the brain is doing repairs. And that may be part of the reason that whether or not you're dreaming, you must be sleeping. Right. So that's one of the uh, few times when a... Uh system that flushes out toxins makes some sense. <laughs> so if somebody okay, does so wait, find that the link, could you put it in the yeah. show notes? Uh, show notes. Can you put it I in can, the chat to okay. the to the disorder? I can't remember what did you say? What is Richard Saunders what I'm going doing? to do I just realized I have them highlighted on the thing I'm copying, but apparently the highlights don't I think show I'm the up. only one who saw that. Oh, so wait, when I give you the last again? couple of answers, I will I will screen square my highlighted Thanks. Can you can you tell me the name of that sleep thing that 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 Italian family has that they're not allowed to sleep anymore? Oh, I don't, I don't remember the name. Not that they're not, not, allowed. not allowed. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, it's somebody it's, tell me so I can look it up as well. I think I think the lockdown is getting to Richard. I, I'll find out for you. It's okay. okay. It's, it's Caspian's here. Disease. I don't see him. Oh, there you are. Look, Caspian's here. Who gets Caspian uh -huh. in the last two rounds? We'll know. Ooh, in a who's minute. in the last place? Mm. Okay. Okay. Go ahead, Gail. Question A, the answer is C. Yes. Strenuous exercises, which you should not do. You should be relaxed before sleeping. Moderate oh. exercise is fine, but you should be as relaxed as possible, especially if you're having difficulty sleeping. So that is the opposite of the truth. Okay. And which one which was this? Wait, 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 which was this? Eight. 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 B is also not true. No, be is true. Yes. There are more accidents both at the beginning and the end of daylight savings time. Not according to the security. Right that that's is that's thought. simply wrong. There are the more accidents at both ends. Looking for the sources the that I have do not say that. <laughs> the, uh, well, <laughs> thank wait you. For the next Jim. one, Leonard. Thank what? you, Jim. <laughs> wait, wait till we get to how long you can go without drink. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah, uh, that's okay. also nonsense. Caspian, this was uh, this category Gail did is on sleep. Sleep research. Sleep research. Okay, so question nine. The correct answer is D. Yes. No. In fact, I have the actual data in there. Mm. Uh, Even though A is also A is wrong. Is wrong. Except that you, there's more than one that's wrong. You can't live with uh, without water for two weeks. You you've got you've got. I'm, water mixed up with food. the water the water thing this comes right that is a direct quote out of one of my sources they're wrong but it's wrong, wrong. I wrong. Have, it's but wrong. what Dead i said wrong. was it's about sleep therefore the fact that that you can't live without water is not the point the point is you can't live without you sleep you asked which, well, which is not true okay i know but if that was the reason you missed the question give yourself a point okay yeah. okay but, um, I, it, the, the, the point was to look for things about sleep and that is the, that is the, the, the source and I will give you the sources so you can look it up to see what they said, but that is a direct quote from the source. 
And so and the what point I would press anything they can't say live, now. <laughs> live without sleeping. So That's if you're more serious study, even than lacking water. If you give the answer as A, is that right or wrong? A or According D. to the sources that, argued the source that I got this information <laughs> from, A is true. You cannot live for about for only about 10 days without sleeping, which is- a Yeah, I, we weren't arguing that point. We were saying it's impossible to live two weeks without water. So that was ignored. Well, they they claim in the source that you can. So you I just Googled it again and every source says you. three days. General rule of thumb, a person cannot survive yep. that water for more than three days. Okay. Otherwise getting lost in the desert wouldn't be that big a deal. Yeah. I, mean, I think your source means whiskey. You can live for three weeks without whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you can look dreams, up my source to see. We're not arguing with Gail. We're moving on to the she next question. She gave us the point. Wait, yeah, ahead, so Gail. what? So is A supposed to be a right or wrong answer? It's, it's supposed, it's supposed, to, be supposed right. to be a right answer because is, whether or not the water is correct, the sleep is. It is you true. can't live without sleep. And the problem, I'm, the point was, the point that was being made in that sentence was that. You can live without water longer than you can live without sleep. So but if you're right, true. But, that, but even that water, statement's not, that's that's true. Right. that's not true. That statement is and not true. Are you get, getting the point? We However, get a point. the big point here and the whole reason for that statement is you cannot live without sleep. Right. That's what you know, we don't we don't argue that, but you can't you can live without uh, okay, sleep for three Don't put multiple facts in a question if if you only want all right. So Gail, you need to unmute yourself. I just thank you, to, Adrian. You're welcome. <laughs> okay. Getting a little too carried away with the point, which she said was very clear. We're talking about sleep. If it's a fact that even if it's incorrect, and it that's well, I'm just, all right. Just talking about people making <laughs> people making questions going forward. When you put an extraneous point in a question that doesn't need to be there, that's a problem. That causes a problem, and she didn't have to do that. It could have just said. Can you live with sleep for 10 days without sleep? That would have been it. That would have been fine. Anyway, go ahead. You guys <laughs> won the point. You got your point. Let's yeah, yeah. I'm just, I'm just saying this for people who write questions going forward. All right, Bob, let, her, let her speak. <laughs> okay, last question. Uh, the correct answer, this is among the myths and the question that is not true in that list is B. Tur Turkey does have some tryptophan, but it's a minor amount. And the reason they want to take a nap is because they've, they've eaten too much. They ate too much, yeah. And it's just a thing to do. They're tired now it's time for me relative. to run downstairs. <laughs> Gail, Turkey. I still think the Gail. reason is that they don't want, that the television is boring. <laughs> it's football. What is it about Christmas and Thanksgiving? You you eat, you eat, you eat all afternoon. You sit in the chair and an hour later, you're going back to the fridge. Well, I think I'll just have a little bit more. No, because the food no, was so good. No, this is actually, this is actually a known thing in food science. This is called, uh, was it like flavor confusion or something where the idea is that you need the more diverse flavors you have available to you. <laughs> like you, uh, you measure satiety based off of how much of the same flavor you get, but the more you confuse, and the more different flavors you have, the more you can eat because you don't oh, wow. feel full. So you That's can, interesting. so like Thanksgiving is, and think, and Christmas are notable because they have so many kinds of food usually that mm. are available. And so you, everybody eats more. Oh, interesting. Sounds plausible. And I've just posted the references that I used to. Thank you, Gail. That was very Thank interesting. You. And I did learn something. So that was the goal, right? Yes. I learned that I couldn't survive three days without water. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's get our scores. I actually knew it already. <laughs> scores, 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 scores. It's the best part. Caspian's going to get to see what the names of the teams are for the first time. And he'll go, what? Or he'll go, roof, 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 roof. Okay. Let's go high to low. It's turtles all the way down. Eight. Okay, tw the hit twenties. Missing answers. Nine one one. Nine. Nine. Oh, we have a new leader. FDA approved team. Nine. Oh, sorry, nine. I was muted. Yeah, we have nine. Nine. Comor comorbidity versus spike vax K. 
Seven. Missing members, not penises. Ten. Oh, good job, you guys. That was on, I was on that team, wasn't I? Yes, yeah. you were. <laughs> hey, I was on the team and we didn't suck. We had the best chances <laughs> ever. Hey, uh, for the, uh, I'm on the court, that one. Well, maybe yeah. One. Yeah, that one there. Yeah, I got eight when I was looking at. Uh, what, what did I, what did I mark off wrong? What have we got? I got, I got one and got seven because th she gave us nine. She gave us credit for one. I, I had five as a wrong. Oh. I don't no. know. Am I am I right or wrong on that? Let me, no. let me see. No. We got eight. I agree with Adrian. She gave us credit on the one. Okay, well, I know, and I, I, and I took credit on, on number nine. Okay, so but, number five, what was the answer? We missed one, five, and seven. Okay, so, so who's got to calculate it? Figure that one out. Well, that's, that, that means that means <laughs> well, we, got we, we got credit. We got credit for. No, um, I, I have I have that credit, but okay, we got so, number five. I think they said the answer was E. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what I yes. had down. Sorry, I guess. Oh, did you write down E? I had written down D, but maybe it was oh, E. Oh, I wrote. It, see, I thought it, they said D. Sorry, that's my fault. No, so E. Yeah, it's me. No, we're, se no, we're seven. We're, we're agreed now on You're, seven. We're good. Well, Sorry. guess I'd, what? I'd, you just inherited Caspian. I'd like, <laughs> I'd like to. Uh, Sorry, Aaron. Wow, what a strategic move that was. <laughs> hey, let's let's, My let's old say, seven. <laughs> say seven. Let's say seven because I was trying to decide who was going to get Caspian if it was going to be the because they were they were tied. So you got Cas. That was a good move, guys. <laughs> so Caspian, you're on the team with Aaron, Jane, Mike, Rob. Oh, Mike's already gone to bed. Uh, Adrian, Lou, and you. Okay. Good job, Gail. Good scores. Thank you, Gail. It had nothing to do with moving. Thank you. Where's Bob? There's Bob. Okay. Ready? Yes, sir. Okay. Is it about chickens? Gonna, yeah, I, <laughs> indirectly. It's okay. involved. They're involved. Okay. Eggs. I need to share my screen. Uh oh. Uh, wait. No. Hang on. And I hope he's in his cell phone. Yeah. Okay. Photo. Okay. Here we go. This will work. I got it. This is totally going to work. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hello. Um, yeah. Aww. Yeah. Okay. Um. When when I got when I knew I was going to get chickens because there was already a chicken coop here. Uh. Uh. What person? one of the most important things that I had to do first was pick out a bunch of names. So I had a formula where uh, they were named after usually a famous person or something. And, and, but I wanted to have that be uh, involve a chicken pun. And so that was their formal name was the, the pun name based on the famous person. And, you know, like a, a show dog has this fancy name with three, um, you know, three different names, but they don't call the dog that when they call him, they have, he has a short a nickname, you know, for at home, but mm -hmm. in, on their papers, the long formal name is on there, right? So, um, the, uh, so I, they all got nicknames that were connected to their long formal name, okay? So we're gonna figure out the source. You don't have to figure out what the actual name was. Sometimes I give it, but you're gonna figure out where it all went back to, who, who they were after. So I am going to go ahead and uh, just a second, I have to get my 
I think Pepper's looking at me. <laughs> okay. Give me the eye. All right. So uh, uh, this is this is an example, just to help clarify it. I gave you a free, I gave you one that doesn't go in the question count. And so her nickname is Pepper, which is on the on the photo. And she says, and I had to do it in first person. I don't know why. <laughs> My name is based on the name of the actress who starred in the movie Shakespeare in Love and who currently owns a company that sells health and beauty products, which are based largely on pseudoscience and woo. What was her name? What is her name? Gwyneth Paltrow. Right. So, and, and so if you see the, I put it in the, oh wait, did I? Yeah, I put it in the chat. And so you see her nickname? Pepper Potter. Her name. Pepper's her nickname. And her name, do you see it there? It's Gwyneth Pulitro. So oh. uh, sometimes if you're, oh, yeah? if what? you're, I, I, the chicken is named Gwyneth Pulitro. A I don't see it in the chat. Yeah, oh, yeah. In the chat. I don't see anything chat. like that in the chat. Poulet is in the French poulet. No, like as in chicken. Yeah. But she oh. also played Pepper Potts in Iron Man. Right, that's why I said Peppa Pot. Wait, yeah. you got it. It, it. It's in the chat. I copied it into the chat. So no, it's not. Nope. It is enter. enter, Bob. Enter. Oh. And make sure that you're oh, that sending it to everyone. Uh, yeah, make sure it's everyone uh, and hit enter. Oh, uh, it's everyone. <laughs> okay, yep. I do that when I text too. So. There you go. Now you can. <laughs> there it is. Okay, so we'll go. All right. So we got that. All right. Uh, oh, who did Bob name this chicken after as a category? Right. Who did Bob name <laughs> That's <Okay>. unique. <laughs> yeah. Well, it was an idea, and I, I had 16 names. I thought, well, I can come up with 10 questions out of 16 names. For this, do we cool. need to look at the screen or the chat? Huh? For this, um, do we need to look at the screen or the chat? Because well, I can only look at one. Oh, the information's all in the chat. The the, the pictures yeah, are okay. just, to, you know, just to make it a little to learn okay. to learn his chickens' names. Yeah, the the pictures are just for fun, but the same information. The, you know, if you can get the chat later and you want to see the pictures, okay. So we'll go. Let's see. Oh, uh, I got it. Oh. I gotta figure out how to switch to the. Oh man. Just a minute. <laughs> oh, it's a. It's... So forget the pictures, Bob. Just go with the chat. All right. All right. Oh, okay. <laughs> Number two. And I'll. I'll copy them in. We'll number two. Number one. Right. It's it's number one. one. That was the example. Well, number right. one. Yeah. Right. Right. Number one. Okay. Here we go. I'll put it in. And... Okay. Uh, number one. Her name is Henry Cabot Henhouse the third. This was the secret identity of a cartoon hero whose exploits appeared on the George of the Jungle show. My nickname is, is his superhero name. What is it? Okay. Number three. Number no, two. Put it in the chat. <laughs> Did I? Did I'm not seeing anything in the chat. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, oh, there we go. Awesome. Perfect. I'll get the hand. About, about number seven, I'll have the routine down. <laughs> Okay. Number two, uh, no, I'm not going to give you any information because it would give it away. So no information available. Okay, there it is. I never really had a nickname. <laughs> Bob always calls me by my full name. 
It is based on the name of a political commentator who used to appear on Fox News, one of the few liberals to be a permanent participant in one of their programs. Sadly, he died in 2017. What was his name? Okay, number three, Destro. My name is based on the name of a British actor who was the first to play Doctor Who when the show was rebooted in 2005. What was his name? Okay. Number four, nickname is Johnny. My name was suggested by Bob's son. Bob was not familiar with this actor, with this actor and had only heard his performance as the voice of a young gorilla named Johnny in an animated, G-rated movie. If Bob had ever seen some of his earlier work, he might have called me Eggsy or Eddie the Eagle. What is this actor's name? Okay. Uh, Nickname Lenny and his official name is El Gallo. Both of my names are from the from roles played by a beloved American actor who died in 2004. They are from a long running police drama and a classic off Broadway musical very early in his career. What was his name? Number six. Number six, nickname Greg. My name required no change to make the chicken related pun. It's built into the answer. It's the name of an American film actor whose career lasted from 1944 to 1998. What was his name? Okay, number seven. There you go. Nickname is Spot. I got my nickname from the spots on my wings that appeared with my first set of feathers. They disappeared the first time I molded. Bob couldn't think of a name that had a chicken pun connected to Spot, so he just added the word eggs to the front of this actor's name. He appeared in both the Marvel and he has appeared in both Marvel and Star Trek cinematic universes. He and Martin Freeman have been paired in both the BBC television series and films directed by Peter Jackson. He and the answer to number eight both played the same literary character in recent years. What is his? Okay. That was seven. Okay. Number eight. Nickname is Tony. My name is from yet another act. If you get number seven, and I tell you there's a connection to Pepper, that should be enough to get the answer. Oh. Remember Pepper, the example? Yeah. Pepper's on the screen still. It's still on the screen because I thought I could flip through my folder. Anyway, okay, number nine. Uh, number nine, his name, her name is the famous Eggles. My <laughs> name is based on a recurring character from a British comedy show that ran on BBC radio from 1951 to 1960. The cast included Peter Sellers. What was the name of this show? Number 10. Hmm. Famous Eggles. <laughs> uh, By the way, whoever has powers, we're not muted. That's all right. 
Everybody's been good. I think you're exhausted from, from the last category. Ah, 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 get it. Uh, uh, <laughs> we all need sleep. <laughs> Very exhausted. <laughs> you, now you're getting it. Let's see. Okay, number 10. The uh, there's a picture of, of, of two chickens. They're the same breed. So there's A and B, and, and I'm not going to give you any information. A is says a says i i am named after my predecessor which is chicken b one letter of her name was changed to make my name i was not named for the titular character of a fantasy television series that ran in first run syndication from 1995 to 2001 b says my name is a greek a greek prefix which means foreign it is from the term, it is from a term used in the alien. What are our names? That's it. So they're one letter off. Huh? They're, yeah, they're just one letter different. Okay, so it'll be easy if you know one uh, even the other. Yeah, so, okay. Um, that's, that's it. Any questions, I guess? This will be fun. We know you're, we know, we now know we're going to be discussing your, um, we're gonna know all Bob's chickens' names. No, <laughs> some of them. Only ten of them. I think it's well, cool. twelve. Twelve with the example. Okay, he's ready. Yeah. Caspian's so excited. He got here in time for the chicken category. I think there would be a lot of ten. I don't think these are too hard. Here we go. Play nice. Okay, fast, fast. Fath, Fath and Romero, Faith, blah, 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 blah. You I'm are. not going anywhere. I know, hold on. Uh, Hurry up. Bye. Faith and Romero are in missing members. Yes, the penis group. Okay, and Caspian is going to be in, oh, he's in comorbidity versus spike protein something. That's it. Yeah. Kevin, wake up. Yep. <laughs> you need sleep. <laughs> need sleep. Yep, I told you five minutes. <laughs> okay, there you go. All right, who we got? I'm going to go to FDA approved. See you guys in a little bit. Susie named Bridget Bardor. Oh, there's Susan. I had to wake I had to wake Kevin up. He was asleep. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't snoring, but he was asleep. That was funny. All right, so let's see. Number oh, one is super you. chicken. I know that one. Super Which chicken. One? Super chicken. To prom. Super chicken. Prom for super chicken. What was the answer? I'm sorry. Super chicken is so super, super chicken. chicken is the name of that. God, I can't. I'm, my brain is not. I I have to. Yeah, Henry Cabot Henhouse III is the name. Is the real name? It was like Superman, Super Chicken. Okay, okay. I remember that. this. I remember the theme song. So number two, uh, uh, the commentator is, is Alan Combs. That I know is Alan Combs. Oh, he, I've never heard of this. Okay. Yeah, he was you, you with, he, he was very odd looking person. He was paired with Hannity. It was called Hannity and Combs. Yeah. Oh, and I get it. Combs for the chicken name for the comb of the chicken. I guess. Yep. No, no, that's who, that's who, the name uh, of the guy. I don't know if that's the answer. Yeah, he said they just want what was his name? They just wanted the okay. name. I don't know about this Doctor Who. We have a lot of Doctor Who questions today. Now the 2005 one. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, is that Eccle Eccleson was the name of the doctor for the so it's Eggleson, maybe? Eccleson. That's a good, that's a good guess. Do they want the name of the actor or the nickname? So it might be Eggleson. Eggleson is Destro. The Destro's the chick's name. So he wants the name of the actor. So he wants Eggleston, right? Well, Eggleston is the name of the actor. I, I'm pretty sure that's the right one because that would make that would be kind of funny because Eggleston. Okay, so Eggleston, you think? No, so no Eggleston is the actor. Well. 
Okay, so Eccleston. Okay. Okay. Whatever. We'll we'll take a point. <laughs> what does that what does that have to do with Destro though? The chicken's name is Destro. I don't know. I huh. always mean I don't think it always meant. Yeah. Okay. Four. A young gorilla named Johnny. My, well, I remember Mighty Joe Young, but that's not Johnny. A gorilla named Johnny. Let's come back to that since nobody has any clue. Well, how about it's um, the movie could be uh, uh, the Disney movie, The Jungle Book. Was there a girl named Johnny in that? Mm -hmm. There was a, the, the guy in the jungle who was the king of the jungle was played by Louis Prima, but I don't. That's think... Tarzan. I'm no, thinking no, no, of no. Jungle Book. Yeah, Jungle Book. Louis Prima sang that song, I'm the King of the Jungle. But that was the actor, Louis Prima. Oh, I'm the king of the jungle. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Oh, yeah. So that, that was a gorilla. Was his, his name wasn't Johnny. No, his name wasn't Johnny. Yeah. But that's what I was thinking of. Because it's a G-rated movie. Yeah. Um, okay, five. Beloved American actor who died in 2004. What was a long running police drama? Was this Law and Order? What's his face from Law and Order? He played one of the cops and he was also, he played Lumiere in uh, Beauty and the Beast. He did the voice in the cartoon. I think he died later, right? I know who you're thinking of. He yeah, was... I'm not sure when he died though. He's No, he died much later. Jerry Orbach. Jerry Orbach, yeah, he, yeah, I know, but I, no, think, I think he might have died then. But I, I don't know how you guys know this stuff. Because he was, he, he was, he, he was a, he was known for his uh, Broadway stuff, not just uh, Law and Order. Yeah, he was a good, he was a music. Uh, so Jerry Orbach, I don't know where Lenny, did he ever? Oh, was his character Lenny in uh, Law and Order? I think you may be right. I think it's Jerry Orbach. I think he may have been Lenny. I, I didn't watch the show. Okay, but yeah, that makes sense to me now. That's what would that have to do with the chicken? I have no idea about this. Oh, chicken. back. It's named like after him. A back, a pack, like a. It's probably Jor, uh, Jerry or Jerry Eggbach or 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 Beak or Beak or something. Maybe or Beak, yeah. Well. I think the Gene character's really name was Lanning. Lanning. I think, I think Jerry. I think Jerry's name was Lanny. I, I I would vote for Jerry Orbach. I think yes. Janine is disappointed because this is a chicken category. She should be facing this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't realize. Well, and I really, category. I really, really like names. I really like names. <laughs> Does anyone have a guess? But I know something? nothing about these are actors. I don't know any of these people either. I know. I, I name my animals after mountain ranges, rivers, and national parks. <laughs> <laughs> Missing 411 at national parks. Okay. Now, six, Greg, is it Gregory Peck? Oh. oh. That, that would be great. That would be a great pun. Oh, my God. That would God, be a great pun. Greg's in it, too. Greg, 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 Greg. <laughs> Good, I got it. That, um, that one I get. How did I get that? That's so good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know the Marvel and Star Trek cinematic universe. Well, Martin Freeman, you'd recognize him as a British comedian. Yeah, I know um, Martin Freeman. He's on the Peter original Jackson, office. Still directed by Peter Jackson. He, Peter Jackson did um, the uh, 
Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit stuff, right? Right. Oh, right. well, Martin Freeman was in the Hobbit. Yeah, he right. played a. Yeah, yeah. So what who has? Okay, so a literary character. So are we talking a hot? Could it be like Noble Baggins or something? Eggs Baggins. He has appeared in the Marvel and Star Trek. He and Martin Freeman. So I think it's somebody else that was in a Peter Jackson, like the Hobbit film. So BBC television. So Martin Freeman acted in the office, the British original British office. Yeah. Okay, look at number eight. It's also in The Hobbit. Right, it's connected to the name Pepper. So those two are connected. So I think number seven has something to assault. Pepper? It says spot. Number eight. Question number eight, eight and eight. seven are linked together. And the answer, so on eight, it's pepper. So seven is probably salt. So it's like salt and pepper or something. But so I'm trying to, so the actor's name has something to do with salt, you think? That's what I'm thinking. I don't know any actor whose name is Salt. Or can you think of something else that would have a connection to Pepper? Pepper State? Sergeant? Maybe Pepper, the, Sergeant the, Pepper? The, Ooh, Sergeant Sergeant Pepper. Pepper. Is there a Sergeant name? There's Sergeant. Dick Sergeant, but that's Dick wrong Sergeant. show. No, he's been dead, right? Dick Sergeant? Yeah, he died a long time ago. Oh. He added the name, the word eggs to the front of the actor's or, name. Or Dr. Dr. Pepper. Oh, that's a good one. Okay, so he added the word eggs to the front of the actor's name. Tony. 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 Tony Stark? Marvel? Oh! Tony Stark? Yeah, yeah. That's good. okay. Tony Stark is the person who played in. He's a literary character, right? He's a Marvel character. He and the answer to eight both played the same literary character. So, who played Tony Stark? And see, in number eight, the nickname is Tony. Right. I just don't know who the actors are who've played. No, you know, Tony Stark. you know the actor. Um, goddamn. Um, what's his name? Play Tony. Um, what's his name? He played Tony Stark. Um, uh, he was oh, in like he was like in the Breakfast Club as a young man and um, Robert Stark. Robert Downey Robert Downey Jr. Robert Downey, Robert Downey, 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 Downey Jr. Down. Downey Jr. Oh, down. <laughs> Downey Jr. That's it. But if that's if we're going the right way, that was that was Robert Downey Jr. who played Tony Stark. Yes, both played, played by Tony Stark. Stark. So when they say he and Martin Freeman have been paired, do they, do they mean that both oh, played? No, that Sherlock, Robert Downey Jr. played Sherlock in the- Oh yeah, they were Sherlock and Holmes. But Freeman played Holmes, but Downey played- uh, No, I thought, he, I thought he played, yeah, he played- I know Holmes you're on the right movie. track, but I'm totally lost. <laughs> Let's come back to that. I think number nine, I think it's the Goonies. <laughs> Was he Peter Sellers on the Goonies? Yeah, he was. The, the... Yeah, that's the only that's the only show I can re remember him from as far as early comedy was the Goons or the Goon Show. The Goon Show. Yeah. The Goon show. Peter Never Sellers, Chris Beacom, and Spike Milligan. Never heard of it. It's uh, well, it British. It was sort of the, they consider them the inspiration for Monty Python and such mm -hmm. oh. absurd British comedies. Then number 10. Well, B, the Greek prefix for foreign is Xeno. So like an alien, it's a xenomorph. Xeno Xena, the warrior, Xena, isn't that Xena? Uh, well, xenomorph is what the alien is in the oh, movie. Aliens. And then number eight, number eight, well, number eight. Letter A would have been Zena, the princess. Warrior yeah, princess. Warrior. The warrior princess. Zena, warrior princess, and xenomorph. 
So what, what uh, are their the names? Are Zena, Zena, and Zena and Zena and Zenu or not uh, Zeno? Oh, that would make sense. So what is uh, we have to get an answer for A and B? Is that it? B it would be Zeno. And a X E N O. Zena and Zeno. So that's kind of interesting. Zena and Zeno. That, that, that makes sense. What's that to do with chickens? Yeah. I have no idea. I just wanted to name them something. Zeno no. <laughs> <laughs> he names them after chicken puns. Okay, go back to the doc, doc, Sergeant. So, no, so number eight. So is, is the answer number eight, Robert Downey Jr.? I think. Well, why? Which is very nickname Tony. Yeah, Tony. Tony Stark. Oh, okay. I see. So and I'm Downey. trying. To, I'm trying to understand ten again. It says I'm named after my predecessor. One letter of her name was changed to make my name. I was not named for the titular. So it's just a coincidence. No, he's saying he's that Zeno, X E N O, was first. And so when Chicken A was born, he named him after, he just changed one letter to a female. Okay. Name. Okay. Okay. That and he's saying, sense. don't confuse it. It's not after the family. <laughs> okay. So, so Janine, do you have any idea why why Zeno or Zenu, Zena? I guess it was Zena, Zeno first. Have anything to do with chicken? X E N I X E N O. Is that a chicken related? X E N. Where is it written down? What number is it related to? I N. had to go. Ten. Oh, there it is. X E N O. Uh, is that a, got a chicken reference in there somewhere? Not that jumps out at me. Okay. Maybe they aren't all puns. Possibly. Okay, go back to um, seven and eight. Okay. Bob couldn't even manage a pun during this process. Things he has appeared in both. Eggs Downey. Yep. Yeah. Well, just put Robert Downey and put, like say Robert Downey. I don't know. <laughs> okay. He and Martin Freeman. I'm just confused the way this worded. Yeah. Not only is it a chicken speaking in first person to us, but. <laughs> yeah. Well, that part makes sense to me. <laughs> chicken talking. <laughs> That's the only part that makes sense. I don't know anything about actors. Okay, can I get a spot so you have the words? He has paired both of them. I don't understand how who's paired with Martin Freeman. Was Rod, Robert Downey Jr. Partner, partnered with Martin no, Freeman? Not that in any, not in any film that I have seen. It says in a BBC television series directed by Peter Jackson. So that would be. No, and in films, director. Okay, so could that be could that be Lord of the Ring, um, Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit? Was Robert Downey Jr. in that? No. No. Martin Freeman was. Martin Freeman has in been the in the BBC television mm -hmm. series and in films directed. By him. But who is this, the person who has been paired with him in both? I can't think. Huh. He and answer okay so the so the literary character that's been in recent films by two different two different actors is tony stark i'm following this right yes nobody's saying anything <laughs> i'm scared now <laughs> tony stark tony what tony stark tony he's a character in the marvel universe okay okay I, I don't know these things, Janine, but sometimes you pick up things once in a while. Okay. Uh, I'm not around people. Okay, and that makes <laughs> sense because it was Dr. Tony Stark and Dr. Pepper. Oh. He came up with the Dr. Pepper right. reference. 
You, you know, the yep. first one for number seven who's paired with Martin Freeman is Benedict Cumberbatch. He partnered. Yeah, Martin. okay. Oh, did yeah. you say Smog? Well, Smog yeah, yeah. He played was Smog. the Hobbit yeah. movie. Yeah. yeah, but he played Benedict, Benedict Cumberbatch played the voice of Smog. Smog. Right, right. So it's Benedict and he partnered with Martin Freeman in the Sherlock series. Yeah. So, okay. Hey, Benedict, get it? Benedict. Okay. Egg, egg Benedict. <laughs> Got it. I thought, Way to oh, go. Yay. It. Somehow, I feel like a QAnon person that's trying to put all these random things. Let's <laughs> make a connection somehow to chickens. Well, I can't, I, can't, I can't get past this thing where he had a spot and it went away after the, yeah. <laughs> the first molt because one of my new baby chicks has one white feather. Oh, white feather. And I call him little white feather. But maybe it'll go away after her <laughs> first molt. <laughs> that might be. Okay, so is the answer to number eight Robert Downey Jr. or is it Tony Stark? Well, it says from an, yet another actor, not a character. So Robert Downey's wrong. Well, it says yet another actor. No, so it should be Robert Downey Jr. But his nickname was Tony Stark. Okay, just if 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 it's either Tony Stark or Robert Downey Jr., I think we're getting it. So I think we'll get it. Okay, yeah, so what about what do we put for five? Oh, Jack um, Jerry, Jerry oh, Orbach. Okay. Jerry Orbach. Okay. Oh, wait. I put that for, wait, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, for six. Gregory Peck. Gregory Peck. I think, I think I'm off a questionnaire. Super Chicken. So Alan Combs. Four that we don't have an answer for. Which one? Four. Four? Four we don't have an answer. Oh, that's what it is. I've got, I've got these in the wrong space on my cheat sheet here. My name was suggested by Bob's son. Bob was not familiar with this. Yeah. Well, Bob says he's What's not it familiar Bob? with it. I wonder if we're just not familiar with it either. <laughs> you might have called it. So the voice actor had done shows earlier than this Johnny Gorilla person. Gorilla. Eddie the Eagle. Eggsy. How about Bugsy Siegel or instead of Bugsy, it's Eggsy. Or Eddie the My God, listen to my cat. Hamilton. We're listening. I don't know what it's about. Having a cow. I'll have to pick his fish. <laughs> I've never seen some of his earlier work. Eggsy. Eddie the Eagle. Yeah, I'm just not familiar with that character. Yeah. Well, does Eggsy. Maybe like we're all too old. Bugsy? Eddie the Eagle. <laughs> Well, Eddie the Eagle was uh, the actual person. He was that uh, high jumper from the UK in the Olympics years back. It was kind of funny because there's no mountains in the UK. <laughs> kind yeah. of like the Jamaican bobsled team. It was like really odd. There's no, there's no mountains in the UK. Not for not not, not ski jumping type mountains. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, he was a, a joke competitor. Eddie the Eagle. Yeah. <laughs> well, he made the British team. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't hard in there. No. Yeah. <laughs> oh, let's see. What was that? Was that that wasn't the 84 Olympics, was it? Uh could be. I can't remember. Around that time. Around that yeah. time. I don't know. Whatever the 84 was in LA for summer, so it would have been close. Oh, that's why it's in LA. 
Hey, isn't there going to be Olympics in, in LA again? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Watch for all of our uh, tent cities to be bulldozed, and I don't know where all the homeless people are going to go because we got a lot. Yeah, you do. So, what year is the Olympics in LA? Too. I think 32? the next one. Next one is in Paris. The uh, in twenty four is Paris. I don't know where twenty eight is. Anyway, Eddie the Eagle. Yeah, if we don't know the character, we're not going to know the guy who played him. But the nickname is Johnny. And he's a voice actor for animated films. I mean, I'm thinking of Edward D. Robinson as an actor who's they've been called Eddie, but I don't know anything about his earlier work. But why Not a G they, there wasn't G-rated movies back when he when Edward G. Robinson was a an actor. Yeah. That's a new thing. Yeah. True. I'll see you in the morning. No, no. Yeah. I have nothing. Susan, um, how long has it been? I, I have. Uh, you've been to the other groups. How are they doing? Uh, some of them are done, but some we're still discussing. So. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to get any more. I don't think we're going to get this last one. So, Bob, do you think that if I call people back, like in the next minute, they would be okay? Are they kind of can you scroll down? So, yeah. So we can. There. Yeah, maybe. You think it's okay to yeah. call people well, if back? They, if yeah, if they complain, we'll let them go back, I guess. If they think <laughs> no. <laughs> the easy ones are real easy, but the, it seems like the ones that, you yeah, know. We're stuck on number four. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, you got to have a Can you scroll up a little more, Mono? I you got to have a pen killer. No, I want to see uh, nine and ten. It's a rule, isn't it? A pain killer? A ten killer. Oh, yeah, yeah. We don't want to have everybody. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the main room and then call people back. So hey, Bob, Bob, I have a question for number 10. You want two names, right? Yes, it's two names. Okay. They differ by one letter. Okay. Okay, we think got we got it. it. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the main room and I'm going to call people back. Good job, team. I okay. would have gotten one of these right. <laughs> Not Vaccine. How, I mean, how severe a disease has to be before they're willing to concede that it's not a liberty issue. I mean, the, the, there would if, be no, there would be this, no case. If, this if, photo, if, this photo like got a lot of comments. you went out, you had a 50-50 chance of dropping dead before you got to your car, would that be enough for them to say? No. There, okay, there maybe would, masks there, and vaccines now. There well, would be no, a lot of comments because someone pointed out that the kid's wearing a Band-Aid, so she obviously cared oh, about oh. a Band-Aid, but, but not a mask. Well, what's what's the story with now that they've 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 uh, approved approved the vaccine the, the Pfizer vaccine? All these people who were saying they were waiting for approval is Are you asking where the goalposts have been shifted to now? Yeah, that's what I'm oh, wondering. I'm, I'm sure it's things like oh, they he looks like he ate a they child. They approved it because they bowed <laughs> to political pressure. They didn't. That's they didn't, that's what I'm figuring. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. To, yeah. Determined to approve, yeah. et cetera, et cetera. It's your right to kill your child. Is that what they're trying to say? And I got one more. I don't know if the sound's going to work. It's going to get bad. We've got people at work whose kids have already been exposed and the contact tracing is exhausting to do. Mm. I can't even believe there's still contact tracing. It just seems we, ha we have to do it. Our office, we've had one of my coworkers. There's a child in her household that tested positive. One of my other coworkers, her daughter was exposed on Monday, but they're all vaccinated and they have to be home for three weeks because she can't go back to school. Now, this is uh, me driving by calling them out. A friend of mine. Would you like a mask? Would you like to mask to protect yourself? <laughs> Would you like a mask to protect yourself? Yeah, are you, are you Mr. Mark? Yes, I am. Yeah. 
Would you like a mask to protect uh, yourself? No, no, no I, I, th I think I'm protected. No, I think I'm protecting myself from you, but thank you. Okay. Yeah. Anybody want a mask? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if you're scared, go to church, buddy. You'll be all church? Right. Yeah. You believe in church? You'll be all right. You believe in church? Yeah. Church, yeah. science overrules religion. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. You're right. You're right. You guys better, better, better mask up or you're going to be in, in the emergency room. Mask up. Choke on it, buddy. Choke on it. Wow. Choke on it, buddy. Yep. Uh, and he's running for mayor. I'm not going to say anything. I would have I would have probably accidentally had somebody run. A, I'm sure somebody would have run in front of me and I would have. No. That, that's they almost harassed people in Walgreens yesterday because. I, we had to do contact tracing. Oh, and I Romero changed out. shirt. I like yeah, the he's uncomfortable. I like the blue shirt. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, so the next Olympics are at Paris and then Milan in Italy. And then Los Angeles is 28th. And then the summer, then Brisbane. Brisbane. That question came up. We were talking about it in our group. Okay. Bob, Let's do it. We know all your chickens now. Okay. <laughs> Ten of them. We're loving them. I figured out, I figured out how, to, how to do the thing. So I'm going to show the pictures for the answers. Okay. I, I figured it out. That's me. Ready? <laughs> oh. Hang on. I got to go. I'm going to go to the thing. <laughs> okay, there you go. Okay. Woohoo! Super chicken! Woohoo! Hi, chicken! Super chicken. We got oh. that. One. Which one is super oh. chicken? Uh, I don't, two headed I don't chicken. Know. <laughs> okay. The, the, I, I don't have perfect. This is the, th these two are the breed that it was. So it, it might be one of them. Uh, that, so the, some of them aren't. I, to be it honest, doesn't really I, matter. I'm joking. Yeah, all right. It's a two headed okay. chicken. <laughs> I think that they look like they look like they were up to something suspicious. So I took the picture. Okay, super chicken. Okay, number two. Alan Cole. My team. <laughs> my team yeah. rocks, man. Let me tell you, I did couldn't you, do any of these. Did you get the pun? Yeah. Yes. Combs. Hair comb. Okay. Alan oh. Combs. Okay, Destro. Yes, mm -hmm. Eggleston. Good job. <laughs> Yep, Eggleston. Which, if you saw Eggles, you see I, yeah. a double C becomes two G's. Okay, oh, now this one. This Ooh. one. This was the yeah. one people. Were we ha we have no idea who any of that is. What was Aaron? the super chicken? I mean, what was the? Eggerton. Who was the name guy? Is Taryn Egerton. He was so the, the young chicken he name. Was the... Just... Yeah, Sorry. he played. He played uh, Eddie the Eagle. And uh, he was Eggsy Unwin in the King movies, but I hadn't seen those yet. The movie that he, he played, Johnny the Gorilla, did the voice of Johnny the Gorilla, was called Sing. And my wife yeah. had a- Oh, I never love thought. Sing. I've seen that a few yeah. times. That's right, movie. Johnny the Gorilla. Right. It's the same guy. So I'd never, I'd never that heard of it. That was a terrific movie. movie. But my son, we were- I've never seen it, Susan. Why didn't you get that? So, <laughs> This I think you should go with Joaquin Phoenix. Ours was a creative. Was, uh, this picture was, um, I was on a Zoom call. We were just starting and my wife needed something. So I got up and I left the chicken on the chair. And a lady in Germany took the, took the screen grab and posted it on the, on the platform. And so I got it. So I just love it because it's like it, everybody from people from different countries are looking at Johnny. So Bob, I'm confused. I actually had to step away for a minute. I don't see anything in the chat. I see pictures without numbers. Where where are we? What's going on here? This is oh, number four. How, how the answers. This is the answer to number four. So what was the answer? Uh, what was the answer to number two? Alan Combs. Okay, thanks. Combs. Okay. Uh, all right. The answers are in the chat now. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. I want to so see Alan, the chickens. All right. Alan Combs. Mr. Eggleston. Honey, uh, Taryn Edger Edgerton. Look at the chickens. Okay, here. and you you skipped one. Gary Arbach. Got go? that? Yeah. Oh, oh, Johnny. Yeah. Okay, uh, Lenny. I called her Lenny, but her official name was El Gallo, which means the rooster. And these were both parts played by Jerry Orbach. 
He was Lenny Briscoe on Law and Order. And it, El Gallo was from uh, The Fantastics back in the 60s. Oh my God, The Fantastics. I forgot. He yeah. also played Lumiere or whatever the name of that candelabra was. <laughs> Lumiere, yes. yeah. 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 I thought of that. <laughs> I thought of throwing that into, yeah. Mm. And he was the dad. He was the dad in um, uh, Dirty Dancing. Oh, and Gregory I Peck would have been. Gregory Peck. Yeah, got got that. Peck. I wish I, I wish I could show you the baby pictures. Yay! Yay! Yep. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yay! Thanks, Benedict. Because I couldn't think of a joke for spots. <laughs> and Tony, that's Tony. Oh, yay, Junior! Yes. Downy, because chicks are downy when they're young. Oops. Yeah. Oh, don't do that. Okay. <laughs> okay. And Spike, one of those. Yay! Maybe... Oh, yay! Yeah. <laughs> the famous, which, yeah. touch it wrong. And then Zena and Zeno. Yep. So the name yep. is Zena. She's not, that's her name. We She's not named after the television show. She's named, we named after her after Zeno. this chicken. Yeah, she's named after Zeno. We just changed the letter to differentiate between two. And you've got the uh, you've got the answers in chat. So very good. Okay. okay. I I sucked at this, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah, the one we missed is the one that you should have known. Thanks. Do you Susan. know what? I kept thinking it was an old movie. <laughs> Sing was Sing was just like in the last five years. We yeah. guess, I thought it was Magilla I Gorilla. Thinking, I thought it. I was thinking of like um, the Jungle Book. I was thinking old Johnny movies, and I wouldn't have remembered his name as Johnny the Gorilla. But Sing, you guys, it's really good. If you like music, it's terrific. Well, I don't like singing music, so I wouldn't like it's it. It's an animated oh, well, there's show. There's not that much. And, and the, the singing really adorable, and the singing is really good. And it's and there's got the stars a pig. Sing. A pig and and so it's it's oh, really cute. Can I those animals the really sound well? It's amazing. Cooper. Can I ask you about the first one? I don't. What's what's the what's the Henry Cabot penthouse? The third. Cooper chicken. Penthouse? Somebody play the video. Would you like to? Uh, no, no, don't play the yes. video. Yes. <laughs> no, it's funny. Danger when you're threatened by a stranger. No, it's not. <laughs> how, how, how is that long name connected to the word super chicken? Oh, here we go, Super That's Chicken. That's his name. Oh, when you find identity, you will tell me Kevin Hendo first. You will take a lick and... Ah, okay. There is someone waiting who will hurry up and rescue you. Just call... Oh, Super Chicken. Fred, right, if you're afraid, you'll have to overlook it. Besides, you knew the job was dangerous when you took it. He will drink his Super Sauce and throw the bad guys for a loss and he will... See, before oh. I drank the Super Sauce, what was that name? There was one thing you should learn when there was no one else to turn to. Call oh, the Super Chicken. Oh, I, I, I know I used to watch George of the Jungle and I have no recollection of that. I forgot all. that. I know Not I had that all memorized. But it doesn't even look familiar. That's weird. Have we noticed <laughs> how many 60 chicken? Oh, play it one more time. Then, uh, please, have we noticed how many cartoons involve taking drugs to be a superhero? Mm. Oh. You know, just like Captain America, right? The super, super soldier serum. <laughs> I did not. Ben, well, ben and I know someone who who read a paper about uh, comic ages and and drugs for like that uh, at a comic convention. Okay, Karen's uh, got our super chicken song that we can sing. So uh, one other thing to mention is like uh, the uh, uh, Taron Edgerton, or yeah, he also played uh, Elton John in yeah. Rocket Man. So, um, also a way you could have gotten Johnny. Oh, interesting. I wouldn't have known it um, anyway. I, I did. Well, good job. Let's do our scores. I never heard of him. So, but my oh, wife. John? Has seen, so. Rocket Man, the movie Rocket Man. It's pretty good. Oh, Rocket Man. Hmm. Here we go. Let me make it bigger so you guys can see it. Hey. This is a hard one to get to. Here we go. Okie dokie, how should I go about this? Um, Can you add me to um, Carl, Allen, Kevin, Kyle, and Saunders, please? I thought you were in there. 
Her name. Her doesn't. name's not there. How did that happen? Because I she join right? later. No, I, I, I. Did I, add Brad, did I have enough K's in it? Jesus, you got all the K names in there. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> interesting. I thought I got okay. So Dr. let's Kelly. go with uh, FDA approved team. Nine. That was the team I was on, by the way. <laughs> I didn't get it. That means everybody else got a 10. <laughs> <laughs> nope. All right, is turtles all the way down? Also nine. Oh. Well, that didn't help any. So, oh. Robin, you got some work ahead of you. Okay, missing nine one one eight. Ooh. Wow, rewrite <laughs> twice. <Wow. high. laughs> For shame. Okay, uh, well, missing it, members, not penises. Eight. This is going to oh, be supposed to get fourteen. And then the spike backs K. Can we have 15? Can we have 15? So we have a four-way. <laughs> Wait, did you not give us combs because we didn't have the first name, you guys? I gave us combs. Oh, okay. Okay, what did you guys get with this? we had five? Ooh, that's interesting about this one right here. Okay. This is the that's most what you exciting. What was that, Caspian? That's what they get for getting me. <laughs> <laughs> well, they had a four. Okay, here we go. Susan, you should show the scores with the names of the group members below. Can you move like it that? up? Yeah, right. Wait, wait. Let me get it so that it's seeable. One, two, three. Okay, you can see it. See it? Thanks. Okay. So that has 35, 35, and 35. So no pressure, Robin. You do know you have a bonus category today. You just came a little late. Well, I mean, I kind of just made it up tonight because I did. Nobody told me until tonight. But anyway, but I'll you go with it. You up for it. <laughs> Jim. Right, Jim left us. Yeah. Anyway, okay. He said he had to go. Oh. So. Um, okay. I I get my COVID data from uh, Worldometer. Uh oh. That is that is my source. The, the numbers don't always disagree with exactly with uh, World Health Organization, but I like Worldometer because it's user friendly and pr probably the database is going to be about the same for both. But anyway, so um, countries in the world that have had the most COVID cases, the top three are the United States, India, and Brazil, way ahead of the pack, at least in the ones that they test and report. And this is cases not per capita, correct? Right, total number, okay. total raw number of cases. Has nothing to do with their population. What are the next 10 after the top three? After USA, Indian, Brazil, the next 10. Okay, so what do you want to call this category? Uh, high COVID. Top. High, high COVID. Top. <laughs> high COVID. <laughs> That's a Next phrase time. you don't want to have to say. Right, yeah. Like, no, 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 no. The uh, top 10 countries that I won't visit this summer. <laughs> <laughs> so what are the top three? Number... Top three are the United States, India, and Brazil. So we're okay. looking for four through 14. Yeah. Uh, four, four through 13. Four through 13. Four through 13. So this should really help you guys. We should be able to not get totally 10 out of 10. So we should be able to break up some of these scores. This is going to be interesting. Okay. Um, as of when, uh, has nothing to do with population. Right. And, and it's also just, just you're, you're muted, Robin. Okay. But, you know, of course, uh, a, a country with a very high population is probably going to have more cases for the most so, part. And, it, and it is specifically like positive tests, not hospitalizations? Correct. Strictly positive reported tests. Okay, so number one or is cases. USA, number two cases. is India. Cases. And number three is Brazil, right? Yeah, United States, India, Brazil, now next 10. Because the United States, and India, and Brazil are way, way, way ahead of everybody else. Yay. USA. Yeah, we're, number we're one. still number one. We have all we have all the vaccines, and India should be way ahead of us because its population is so much larger than ours. 
I think that India is probably way, way, way under reporting. Yeah, I think okay. it's also That's way, way, say. way under reporting. But it's what it's all we got. Yeah, so. it's all we got. I'm I'm just worldometer is my authority here and and what do you call worldometer? World Any world of these countries have holes with coins, uh, coins with holes. <laughs> really, it's a fun website. I used to go to Worldometer um, to look at the world population growth. That's what it mostly does, but it, it records a lot of statistics. What do you, how do you spell it? World what? World O meter. O R L D world huh. O meter. I think it's world, world O meters. Yeah. Please don't judge up painful memories. Okay, Never. got it. <laughs> World of meter. And us to our rooms. All right, let's go, and I will meet you there in a minute. Okay, um. everybody in. Control, but I don't hear in Susan. Isn't. Hello, team. Oh, now Susan is. No, I'm in your team. Robin, you should have the powers to move around. I don't have the powers. We're oh. there. You do breakout rooms. So I don't know if, it, oh, if yes. this okay. is next in line, Join but up there one. should be Italy. Yeah, they had a huge number of cases in the beginning. What about China? Um, China is surprisingly low, really. Uh, yeah, China actually did a fantastic job of locking down. Um, and of course, they're lying through their teeth. So And yeah. they started it, though. Yeah, but they, they locked down really hard, really, really fast. Okay. How um, about Spain? Spain will be up there, um, as will France. Leonard, your voice seems to have changed. It's deeper. Are you, did you change um, your smoking? No, for some reason, my voice just crapped out this afternoon. Oh, yeah, definitely different. Barely coming back. Um, UK? Yeah, they've been, yeah. they've been hit pretty hard. Um, and who else got it bad uh, in Europe? Germany. Hmm. Yeah, I know Holland did, but they're such a small country that I don't think that yeah, there would be. Not, there's not a lot of people. How about no. Sweden? Right. Uh, again, a small, yeah, fairly small population. Relatively small population. Um, and How did Mexico then, do? Mm, that could be a good one. Yeah, it might be up there. It's my guess is it's near the edge if it's not. Yeah. Right. Canada, Canada is okay, right? In that group, well, um, I don't think it Canada is. is um, it's a tenth the population of the U.S., and their rate is half of what ours is. Okay. Um, thinking of other countries, Argentina, something is made America? the news. Yeah, by Brazil. Argentina's Argentina's way up there too. What's what's yeah. real close to Brazil? Argentina, Argentina, for sure. Yeah, Argentina. Um, so one of the how about one of Florida? The characteristics Let's put Florida seen... on there as their own country. Who? <laughs> They're so What's bad they count as a country. Yeah, Florida. So I I saw a correlation with people with uh, countries with ridiculous strongman leaders. Um, Not hungry, having then. Uh, having a uh, a high number. What about Russia? So, um, they lie through their teeth. Yeah. yeah. So I'm not sure it's going to be right. on there. Same with um, North Korea. Turkey. Oh, Turkey. Ooh. Mm. Yeah. What about Japan? Did they get a bad? Oh, they they did well. Vaccine. Did it okay? Yeah. Even with they're, the they were they're so used to wearing masks that they yeah pretty much masked the heck up right after it started. So. Oh, Japan. Yeah. Yeah, they masked, they, 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 they they masked they're... right, but they masked up as oh, soon as it started. The government actually sent um, masks to every household. We almost yep. did that. Yeah, we yeah, almost they're, did. They're, we they're had a different president. We would have all done used it. To wearing masks anyway, so yeah. Well, they sent the masks and people wore them. Yep. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Um, unlike unlike it's very, it's very standard for them to wear fight it left yeah. and right. How about yeah. Vietnam? Again, not a large population. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it actually did pretty well. Um, Indonesia's a good one. Indonesia's a good one. Sure. Hmm. More South American countries, you would think. Nothing in Africa, right? Yeah, that's what I was just going to bring up. Anything in Africa that we need to be thinking of? Africa hasn't been hit that hard, except, well, South Africa is getting it now. Um, Hmm. That's a really big country. So, what was the what was the verdict on Mexico? Are we thinking it's just out of outside of the top ten, or do we think? I would put it down it? until uh, un, unless yeah. we can think of something else to push it away. Okay, sounds good. Yep, works for me. Um. Yeah. Um. How did Portugal do? It's too small, too, eh? It's too small. Um, yeah. Susan, I think you're right about Russia, though. Because I'm sure they're lying through the teeth, but I'm sure the number is still high. They've got a big population. Yeah. Well, yeah. And I'm sure they are report something. Otherwise, the people go, this is way too off. And they're like, oh, no. Right. And, they, and, they, uh, and they made a big deal of making their Sputnik V vaccine. Yeah, so I would put, uh, put Russia in there. I'm really curious about North Korea, because, of course, they tried to act like they didn't have anything for how long. Oh, I'm yeah. I'm really curious, because they are so closed. How was Korea? South Korea, South Korea, yeah, South Korea. Yeah. one of the like one of the best. Was it? Yeah, South, South Korea did a fantastic job of contact tracing. Yeah, they did yeah. an amazing job. I remember reading an article about that. Um, okay, so, so Mexico Susan, do you is remember, probably the only one we're really. Do you thinking. remember back in February and March, Paul Offit saying that he thought that the U.S. would have fewer deaths from COVID than we do from the annual flu. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he was basing that on the fact that he didn't imagine that we could do that much worse than South Korea, and Korea did really well. So he just multiplied the numbers out. Yeah. Oh, wow, we didn't know a lot. Um, there we go. Well, all I know is if we ever do have a zombie outbreak, we're screwed because seeing how America responds to COVID oh, yeah. and, and having to take precautionary measures. We're, we're completely screwed. Well, let On me the rest. On other hand, the yeah. zombies are rest all going to die. I'm going to the Canada. The zombies are not going to survive. <laughs> well, I'll stay with Luma. Okay, you're welcome. I'll brains. bring my shovel to take care of the zombies. It, no, it's, zombies it's, are after brains, and they're not going to find any here. Oh. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But so we're safe. Well, it's, it's just funny because, you know, um, Carl and I have had this discussion because we both watch Walking Dead and, and like zombie movies. And watching Walking Dead, we would always joke around about how stupid some of the characters in the TV show are. They're all like, oh, you're, they're being totally dumb and, and not protecting themselves well. Um, but then after seeing the response to COVID, it's like, well, I guess that uh, TV show is more true to life than we realized. You know and what? So- I would think Mexico instead of Mexico, I think China. Now, China's way down there. In total cases, though, yeah, they've got to have the highest lot. population in the world. Even with them having yep. such and a high China's population, way down they're there. still down there. Yeah. Yep, China's yeah. way down there. Um, well, they probably just ordered all their South citizens to obey all the social distancing and wear the masks. I'm pretty good with this list. I think it's probably... Yeah, yeah I think we've got a good, good solid eight. Yeah. yeah, Myanmar. Again, not sure if it's. Yeah, I think it. we're missing a South American one. Yeah, almost certainly, but. We're getting called back in 10 seconds. Yeah. Yeah, but okay. I don't right. know which yeah. one. All right, well, good job. Good team. luck, team. Susan no. uh, didn't do that. She was okay, but it was uh, Kelly. Kelly. Oh. Kelly, yeah. Kelly. I could see in her face she figured it out as I was reading them. Oh, you're talking about your category? Yeah. yeah. Robin, this is a good category for coming up with it at the end. Yeah. That was, it was quick. Good. It was quick. And we all should know some of this. I'm I want to say something real quick because people tend to drop off as soon as the scores are in. I have one piece of advice for anyone doing category. Oh. Double and triple check your information on multiple sources 
no matter how well you think you know it to be true, get at least two, preferably three sources to confirm your information. Um, so yeah. I also, use, the, uh, use the scientific method where you try to find authoritative sources that contradict what you think is true. And lastly, next week is September 2nd and we have Jamie and Jim presenting. And that's next it. week, I probably won't be here because I'm going out and of town. I will not be here. Okay. And it's the 69th one, so we need to be yeah. here. Wow. Yeah. So I need, and I need two more and a bonus. Well, well, I, I have another category. Do one, Susan. Wilma. So I can do has, one if you did. You say you have one, Jay's. Janine, what? Did you say you yeah. had one? Okay, I Janine, could do one. If, if you absolutely it looks like positively you're looking need a for bonus, people with Jay's. Carl, I can do a bonus, even though I've been holding on to this one, hoping somebody else does it so I can get ten out of ten on it. But no. <laughs> <laughs> You know what, Susan? I think you should have your own score based on each of the teams that you go into. <laughs> they have all the team names and then you have the Susan score. Yeah, the round that she scored. Yeah, the round that e that her team scored each one that she goes into. Why? I don't know. Would that work? Because, that yes, your first round that you played with, you take that score and that's Susan round one. And then the second round, you get that score from somebody else. I like it. Oh, yeah. to see if my team, whatever team I'm see on, Team Susan. I like it. Would be that, oh, I can that. Team Susan. She's so still riding on everybody curses. else's though, because it doesn't mean you. But I don't before. usually have the answers. I I'm here to just. But everybody else scores points whether you're but there or Susan, not. Susan, just the touch of Gerbic. <laughs> <laughs> really, a touch of Gerbic. <laughs> like the seasoning. Because she's good. <laughs> I can do that. I can do that. Okay. Yeah, water it down, and it will be like a, a you know, a medicine. From your panting, Susan. Yes. <laughs> you guys are nuts. We're heading on towards two o'clock. Let's get the answers. Two oh, we're ready for our answers. I'm ready. Where are you? Possibly be one forty-eight a.m. Oh okay. man, number, number four. four. Gosh. Thanks, thanks Crazy. Mono. Go. Number four, Russia. Ah, oh, we it. Went off. Yeah. Damn it. With with six million eight hundred and change, number five France, six million six hundred and change, number six the UK, six million almost the same as France, number seven Turkey, Ooh. also just over six million, Argentina is number eight at five million. Said it, we took it away. Petunia, Maggie. No, Petunia. I don't know where. Where's what Petunia? country's Petunia? <laughs> never heard of that right, one. Maggie? Next to Maggie. Wait, what? Maggie. Oh, next to Maggie. We didn't get Petunia or Maggie. <laughs> I didn't get Petunia or Maggie. Number nine, Colombia, with just oh, under yes. five million. Oh, no. Uh, that's number the one 10, missed. Iran, with just oh. under five million. Oh. Yeah. Iran, number one. Number 11, Spain, yes. just under five million. Number 12, Italy, yes. mm -hmm. four and a half million. And the last one, number 13, Indonesia. Yes. Yeah. Um, and the next three were Germany, Mexico, and Poland, and then South Africa. Oh. I know you, a lot of people Literally put those, so they're great guesses. We just missed. Caspian's so excited. Oh, you know, all his, he got all his uh, uh, COVID countries, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but Adrian, they're like, yes. <laughs> like, yeah, it's a little bit morbid, but. <laughs> yeah. So, so Brazil's inactivity. Uh, is basically infected the whole continent. It's no. It's really weird how China didn't make this list, huh? Well, Ecuador I, had a bad outbreak before it got to Brazil. So China, according to Worldometer, uh -huh. is um, number one hundred and seven. And I'm I'm sure we all. Trust I'm calling. Yeah, I'm sure that's that. true. No, but well, no, but they they've true. done they've done even more lockdown stuff because they can because yeah. they're they've dictatorships so than Australia yeah. and, and New Zealand. It's like they get just locked down cases in a village and they lock everything down. But these numbers also come from government reporting, and we all yeah. know we can believe of China. Yeah. Well, yes, yes exactly. So yeah. some governments yeah. of, are more reliable the, uh, than others. Of the government reports, um, I'm not going to put a lot of uh, 
confidence yeah. in the Chinese one. Yeah. <laughs> but, but last last that's week, they announced that they had no cases in the last two or three or something like that. And there's a lot of right. people who, like my friends, have their family in China, and they would know, they would hear if that was wrong. So I, I, right. I, I say overall, it's probably true. Yeah, but five million of them could that's have the died. It's a drop in the bucket the there. Side. Oh, this is a fascinating But people would have heard side. about it. I've never seen this yeah. before. Wow. Yeah, worldometers is great. Wonderful like One of the interesting things about the population counts on Worldometer is that the United States population is not going up very fast at all. It ticks Yay. up about once every 10 seconds. Oh, yeah. Did you hear what happened with China? I mean, my whole life, I was, it was a one child rule, a one child rule. Now they want people to have three children when they're married. They said they can have up to three. No, they're, they're trying to give incentives they and essentially force to. women to have three children. Oh, geez. Yeah. One extreme to well, the they other. Have a yep, lot of exactly. <laughs> they shouldn't be messing with things like that because you, you never know. You shouldn't be messing. Just let things happen, I guess. Can we get the numbers as up? God in intended, Susan. Yes, yeah, oh, God intended. Yeah, I gotta well, go what about that. the guy with that five wives and Susan? I am, okay, let's get over to the scores. Somebody gave me the site and it was so interesting. <laughs> hey, Robin. Thanks, Very good, Mara. Robin. Okay, yeah. so let me blow this up. And let me show people's names and we will see what we shall see. If we made a difference. So where should we start? Doesn't matter. I'm gonna start with these lower ones and see, and then we'll go to the tie. All right, so Spike Vax K. Nine. Wow. Good. Missing members, not penises. Gail, zero. We have five. You got five. 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 You suck. Now they tied. Last place tied. Yay, we're not alone in last place anymore. Okay, <laughs> missing answers 911. Carl, take something Kevin, good out Kyle of this. Seven. Seven. Okay. FDA approved team. Eight. Eight. Oh. <laughs> And the team that I was on, the, it's turtles all the way down. Eight. Oh. Oh. We, have a tie. Oh. we need an instant death match or something here. <laughs> Look at that. I think you should arm wrestle or something next. Look at that. Death. Iran, number one. <laughs> wow. I don't know. That was good. I, I'll have that. Photo up finish. So I was, Susan yeah. would be. You could share the gold medal like the two high jumpers. Marie, yeah. yeah. Nine. So, so commodity people, we're, we're in third place out of five, right? <laughs> third place. Time for two. I think it works that way. <laughs> and then I had we're in third as well. There's only three places. And then I had 10. <laughs> we're sharing our medal. And then I had nine. And you then if, and you're, you if you're dyslexic, you can. Susan, I'm not sure where you're. Oh, okay, your numbers are off by a row. Susan's score. Are What's they? Susan's score. Susan had eight. No, 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 wait. Nine, the nine belongs up one. I would be nine. Go, 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 back, go back to your, uh, go back uh, to your uh, list now. Else. Move that nine up a row. It doesn't matter. And then move all the others up a row. That puts your numbers with the correct team. It doesn't, it doesn't matter, but sure. No, yeah, but, she, but she's lining them up with the scores. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. Oh, and I get can, what you're saying. Then you can total there. Please. So I did, I kicked ass. No, you didn't. Not right. that total. 19, 23. Well, I'm taking my to make a total. Well, well oh my this is a new kick down, but you disappointed us. I don't know how to actually do that. I'm at 40. She didn't win, but she, yeah, you got 40. So you got last place. You're upsetting all the smart oh, people last place. on the call, Susan. Yeah. <laughs> Again. Good night, all. Oh, good, good night, Lou. Good night, Lou. All right, y'all. So, Thank you so much. Thank you, everybody. Um, Thanks for another fun night. Okay. Thanks to internet Bye. people from the future. So next week huh. is um, Rob, Jamie, Jim, and I hope Jim and Jamie are getting together with, with Paula. Yep. And then Carl. Oh, Janine. And then Carl. Hey, Susan. Yes. Put the spreadsheet back up for a second. To the scores? Uh-huh. Is there an mm -hmm. error? Mm -hmm. 
No, we no, I was going to show, gonna show her something. Was. So, and go down where you put your 40 and, and just delete that. Okay. okay. Left. And then go up there to the top where there's that weird little letter thing that looks like a, a, a three or an E or something. The E thing. Don't, don't, the don't highlight stuff. It means some. Sigma. Yeah. This, I'm pointing to it like it's going to make any difference. It's the up last here? character it's over the last to the right, right, right. That row, right there. Right. Click that. Wait, click in the bot where you were, though, first. She has to go. Click right there. there. Click, and then and click then there. there. Yeah, there. And then just go, yes. And then hit enter. No. Well, why didn't it work? Because no, it didn't, the range yep. wasn't. You didn't have the, you need to have highlight. the range highlighted. There you go. Yeah, okay, highlight the right. range. Well, in my and computer, click where I button. work, it, it'll <laughs> grab it for you. Getting, getting closer. Yeah. yeah, there it is. <laughs> Need to get rid of the. Uh, <laughs> so act, actually, actually, I do spreadsheets all the time. Right, this is totally illogical to me. What I would have done is put Susan under its turtles all the way down and put the scores there, and then you'd have round one, two, three, four, and bonus because this makes no sense. Everything is under bonus. Well, that okay, makes so sense. Susan? That's good too. Yeah. Yeah. Put Susan there. All right, and then under row one, put column one, put the number you got, etc. But yeah. the formula is not going to match. It's it is if you copy it down. And then, yeah, and then, then copy right. the formula down. And then right. just drag right. the formula down. Oh, yeah. he's going to show me how to do that again, huh? All right. So, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Let me go, up, go up where it says 43. <laughs> Layer those all out. Yeah. It's and a, then, not that one. Oh, yeah, what that was, one. What was yeah. that one? That was eight, eight. eight. Yeah. And then hit, grab the 43 and then grab that little thing. Yeah. And you boop, got okay. it. I've invented a new word. There it is. Yep. Frost what it's is entertaining and frustrating at the same time. <laughs> what is it? All right, let's do a pivot Walking table with. next. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Ah, ah. I have no idea what you guys are talking about, but I have a uh, feeling let's do a pivot table. it's Arnold not Excel. Well, I, I want to make a macro so that we could use it. You, know. oh, you can link this okay. to a design table in SolidWorks. Let's create some pull down selections also. Yes. Hey, Bob, Bob Wait, was that your first time to do a category? No, a second time. I have a question. While people are talking before people leave, and I show the pictures that I couldn't, I couldn't figure out. I should have done a dry run, but it's just more of these foul while. pictures. Huh? More of these foul pictures. <laughs> oh, oh Su nice. Susan, Susan, let me show you another, another magic thing. Put the cursor up where it says it's turtles all the way down. Click. Yeah. C click. Whoa. All right. After. Okay, turtles all the way down. All right, well, I can't see it now. <laughs> Bob. Well, I asked. Yes. Oh. Okay. Oh, look at them. So cute. When you're grown up, there's, I think that's actually spot. I wasn't sure I had a picture of such a picture. <laughs> Don't you brand your chickens? Uh, you should, you should name quiz. your next chicken. No information available. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Stop there, please. What was the connection between Destro and the clues? Chris Eccleston in G.I. Joe the movie. Thank you. Oh, yeah, I never saw that. Destro movie. in the G.I. Joe movie. Okay. Uh, it was another movie. role that the actor uh, played. Okay, I got you. I never saw that movie. I didn't know, know the name. Yeah. You didn't miss much, Rob. Nope. <laughs> Your girls have voice names. Yeah, right. That's what I want. Gregory Peck. Mm -hmm. That's a baby. Hey, they're gender fluid. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you, can, you can see the spots. Yeah. So yeah. why did Spot lose its feather? It's when she molted spot after its mold. Epigen epigenetics. When she molted, so the new feathers didn't. She's got a few, but not like this. You know, it was very distinct. Yeah. So her like name was on the list. Her name wasn't on the list, so I named her Spot, and then I came up with something else. But you can see the spots in the picture. That's why I wanted to show you. Because I have one of my new babies has one white feather on his wings, black with one white feather. Oh, so what was the, what was the reason for, for the Iron Man connection, uh, Robert Downey Jr., for Tony? Right. Tony Stark. Well, the character's name is Tony. Yeah, yeah, but what does it have to do with the look of the bird? I'm just, is there something I'm missing? Was no. it really Downey no. the chick? <laughs> Robert, he was Robert Downey, like a Downey chick. So he was Downey as a chick? Okay. Well, they all are. <laughs> Not Robert Downey. He was a boy. <laughs> they all are. <laughs> so my score Downey is kind of average for every of all the games. That's interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's about right. Well, that, that makes sense. That's, 
that's Cena and that's Zeno, and I know those are the right. Mm -hmm. We got the. This is a, a a later batch, and we got the same breed. And Zena had passed that. most. The one on the right looks pissed off. Have any more? They, so so that. can can My chickens bite. of different breeds breed together? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just color. Yeah. Same yeah. species. My bard from Plymouth Rock seems to be laying Hi, quite well in the old age compared to my other. Why do they call it Plymouth Rock? Is it because it's from Plymouth or is it just the name? There are, um, there. Okay, quit screen share. There you go. Yeah, so Susan, go back, to, go back to the thing. I want to show you something you that, will, that will, will change your life. Oh, it's, one, it's one tool that most people never use. When I found it like 15 years ago, it's like, Oh my God. All right, so put your cursor where it says it's turtles all the way down. Let me raise the-, the Bye, Jamie. Bye. Bye, Jamie. Okay, my bye. So, so, see, see, see you next week. Bye. So, so, bye, -bye. Hey, you're so, on next week, so we better see you. Yeah. I know. So, okay, so, take care. So, so put your cursor where it says it's turtles all the way down and drag across the 43. Not, 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 not the corner, just in the middle of the box. Which box? This all box. Right, Never mind. Go to go to 1244, which is the uh, row number at the left and click it. OK. Yeah, go there. All right. Now go up to the top where the controls are right under edit. There's a thing that looks like a paint roller. Oh, this one? Click it. Did you click it? Yeah. All right. Now go down. Now click the 1245. Oh, so it painted. Every single cell nice. in that's the first one, one to the second one. Yep. Oh my God. Yeah, that's a match it. of paint. I got my, uh, let's see if I can so, do it. Okay. You I made my life so much easier. Thank and, you. And by yeah, the way, if, 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 if you double click the paint thing, it sticks and you can keep clicking whatever you want and it'll, it'll basically paste the format, paste the format, paste the format. Susan, when you post here, this YouTube video, to no, you need to advertise it as no, an Excel. No, no, no wrong. Yes, wrong. yes, exactly. Well, you have to paste that thing. What? Wait, wait. I okay. wanted to ask Kevin. Kevin, it's not, it's not a cut. It's just a copy and right. paste of the, format, the format of the yeah. format. Okay, yeah. so it's I'm a paint, on twelve thirty-one. Go up one. Go up one. I always do paint. Oh, I go up here. Paint paint no, no, no. Go click the one above there. Yeah, there you go. That one. Okay, now go up to the paint thing, and you can if you click it twice, like you said, it'll do it multiple times. But if you click it now, it'll take it off. So do it twice, right there. Now, now it's off. Go up and click it twice. But, but be in the uh, other. One. Do a click, <laughs> click, like really fast. Click, click. I did. No, I don't think you did. Did you? Yeah. Double click, basically. Okay, listen. Okay. This YouTube video better have the most views out of all your videos. <laughs> <laughs> Are you still recording? Are you still recording? Dude? Okay, so now click still on the next one. No, it's, it yeah. looks like it's off. It looks like it's off to me. We can do it with chickens and recording, Excel. And this is the Excel training version. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going on. Okay, clicking on this. Yeah, and double click. On what? There. No, on double the, the, the paintbrush. Paint double click the paintbrush. It's oh. paint format. But it's it says, not it? click, click. It's click, click. I did. No, you didn't. Exactly like telling did. my mom. I know how to <laughs> double click. <laughs> oh my God. Do whatever you need. Try it a little bit faster. Do whatever you need. At some point, make smoke it. is going to start coming out of Susan's ear. Oh. <laughs> no, just, just do oh, it boy. until the line is uh, It's changed. a little paint roller. Okay, I see double a paint roller. It. Super fast, though. Okay, now, shush. Okay. Mm. Maybe just just, here it go quick, quick. Susan, maybe just do it once. You're looking to change the lines around. No, it. we know how to do that. That's we did that already. <laughs> okay, no, see, look, I did it once. Okay, good. Now, now, it's, now it's highlighted. See how it's highlighted? That's good. Yeah. Okay, now click in the line below, like next to the 1231. Right, 1231. I can barely see those numbers. Okay, okay. now go down one. I did go it. down one row and just 1232. Okay. Yeah, no, it's, it's, not, it's, it's not highlighted anymore. So it, she's not doing it twice. Yeah, okay, so not, I'm gonna do this one. Let's see if I can do it by myself. Okay, here's this. No. No, the one about that. <laughs> there you go. have to start <laughs> with something you're copying. Okay. Okay. I click there. You got it. Oh my god, I did that fast. <laughs> Maybe the double thing doesn't work in Google. Yeah. Best Excel training class I've ever been to. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> oh my God. 
That's hilarious. And by the way, it does, so so that's an example where you did an entire row, but you can do one cell or any selection of cells. You can do. Yeah. It doesn't How have to be the whole row. Now, that, I won't okay. be able to sleep tonight. Any second now, Susan's going to say, "Norman, help me," and your head's going to cock sideways. Can I keep it called Susan's score or something else? Something clever. You guys are much more clever than I am. Mm, that's good. Click in that upper left hand corner and change the scale really uh, to a whole spreadsheet. I can yeah, well, do a lot of things, but it's just everybody tells me the same at once. It's funny because you guys are like all talking at once, and I can't yeah, understand. Susan, goodness. you should have used your mute powers on people. Uh, <laughs> I, it takes me half an hour to find the mute. You barely do that. Why do you think I assign it to everybody else to do? Because I can't figure a damn thing uh, out. Are you we still recording? It. We're still recording. I know, but what yeah. you don't realize is when you're the host, I have three screens, three huge screens. But when you're the host, you've got your chat and you've got your um, uh, uh, breakout rooms and stuff sitting here. Whenever I move, like to click on something else, they all go away. So you, so they're not, they're not always. How do I say it? the way Zoom does it is you're. If I have okay, I'm gonna put my chat right in front of me right now. Here's my breakout rooms right in front of me. So I've got chat, I've got breakout rooms, and I've got you guys. They're all on the same screen. But if I click on something else to do something, a lot of times these will disappear. You know how? Do you know how to make the chat window an integral window with the video window? Because that might help. Yeah. Oh yeah, I do that all the time. Oh, yeah. so it's right it's there. Like so it's like off on the side. On the side. Mm -hmm. It's attached. Yeah. It it won't go away by itself because it's attached to the main window. Yeah, I can do that. But I like to have the chat because then I just move it. That way, you guys are bigger, and I can move you guys around. I don't want. But it, but if you're having problems with things disappearing, that might help that problem. I don't know. Just things disappear. Or, or just get more monitors, Susan. <laughs> oh, yeah, that'll help. <laughs> no, it's not. The, I think having more monitors actually makes yeah. it worse because it makes them so that, and then I got the spreadsheet here. And then the spreadsheet, I've got like four tabs on here. I've got scores. I've got next oh. game. I've got future questions. I've got the past questions. I have every question we've ever asked. I'm, I'm using my laptop, so I'm down to one screen and it's, it's just excruciating. I'm, I'm used to having three. Yeah, it is kind yeah. of hard. Whose house are you at, Ben? Uh, I'm at my ex's house watching the kids because she is out of town. Oh, that's nice of you. So you, they, you got to be there to, for them. Well, yeah, I live in Collinsville, which is about 25 minutes away. So this saves me from having to drive the kids to school every day instead of just letting them take the bus. So, so how, so how long are you there for? Um, well, and I got here Monday night and I'm here till tomorrow because once school's over, I'm taking them to my place. Hmm. So. And how are they doing with school? Is it's masked, right? Or what? Are the kids masked? Yes. To yes. To, it's and everybody Jordan in the school is, is fully vaxxed, but Rachel is too young because she's not in the approved age group yet. So. So Jordan's twelve. Yes. Okay, that makes sense. But they don't yeah. have the. But the school. Is requiring masks for everybody. That's what I was trying to ask. Right. Okay, so you're not yeah, they have. Um, they have their masks on uh, lanyards, which is really cool. So they can just, you know, always have them around their neck and pull them on, you know, when they walk out the door to head to school. I got to go. Good night. Thank you. Uh, night. And Deborah, we were just going to talk about how we sleep together. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell them. <laughs> I better, I better uh, turn off the video for that. <laughs>